Good morning, everyone. Welcome on board. Welcome to the first stream of 7.0 Beta 1. Oh my god, Captain just waited Pog, for Captain that. Captain Pog, Captain Pog, Captain Pog, Captain Pog. Okay, just Captain waited for that. Pog, Captain um, Pog, Captain Pog, we already made Pog, ourselves Pog, some coffee. Pog, oh my god, CJ. Pog, thank you so much Pog, for the prime. Pog, Captain Pog, Captain Pog. <laughs> Seed Bro, also, thank you very much Pog, for uh, for, Pog, for the tier 1 Pog, seven Pog, minutes ago. Pog, oh my god. Captain please. Pog, Captain 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 all right, uh, we already got some coffee um, since we're already doing a pre-show on Twitch. So if you missed that, um, join us on Twitch. Cheers. Mmm. Beat. Um, <laughs> so uh, we already had a very interesting question in chat, which was basically... Where is it? Um, is the public beta the last step or will there be something more after? Well, for all the people that are probably in their first beta phase uh, and missing like the 6.0 betas we, we've done, usually at Egosoft it's like that, that they have a beta... Um, 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 a, 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 how do you say a, a beta series let's just say beta series and it usually starts with beta 1 and then we got beta 2 beta 3 beta 4 until they are um, ready to say okay all the issues seem to be fixed all the stuff they wanted to put in into the game is in there and um, we can release the release version so that can happen after beta 5 that can happen after beta 7 whatever it it depends a little bit on uh, what kind of issues we are um running into so that's like a first answer to the question of how many betas will there be would you rather fight one canon sized kayak or 10 kayak sized tinam well sadly you don't get to choose they are all coming for you. Should not have left the leftover cookies in your luggage. Oh, that was so sweet, Glados. Thank you very much. That was extremely sweet. Um... <laughs> okay, what else we got? Um... Is this the Xylophonic Xenon? I have no idea how that thing is called. Thank you, John. Welcome, boy. Uh, it was reported as a bug on the forums the other day. One of the admins came back. Thanks, folks, for identifying and saying it's fixed. Oh, that was about... Uh, that was about... Boarding Xenon ships or something, right? Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, good. Great. Uh, start a new game or load a vanilla? Uh, good question. I have thought about it, uh, but I don't have an answer yet. Did you start the party without us? Yes. Hey, Empress, good morning. Uh, new player here. Is the new beta more easy for a new player? Probably, because uh, you will have a lot more tutorials available. Uh, I can show you in a second. Actually, we can already go into the game or into the, the game screen. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, um, new in here is... This year, the tutorials, play tutorials, and you got a lot more tutorials now. Basic, intermediate, advanced, and some special ones. So, Tidal. so that that should give you at least a little bit of a uh, of an understanding of the game. So yeah, the beta is probably easier to get into. Will DLC be released in the near future? Like I said, no idea. No idea how many betas they are going through. And uh, the betas are only the 7.0 version betas. So we don't even see the stuff that's in timelines in the new DLC. Uh, that's usually being released with the release version of the last beta. 
and uh, usually they're not doing beta tests of DLCs, so can't say that. No idea. The 7.0 beta includes reworked and expanded tutorials, ensuring that new players can fully engage with and understand the depth of the game mechanics. There you go. That's the official answer of Ubisoft. Good, good, good. Liko, good morning. Neo, good morning. Saber, welcome on board. Uh, Tenebeb? Tenebeb? Welcome on board. Good morning. <laughs> I still don't have my Yasuo. Oh, no way. Um, how would you even capture a Xeno ship? Do they have crew? Well, no, I guess not. Maybe they have like defenses or something. Maybe they act like crew. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I don't know if it works at the moment. I probably need to send over marines and cannot let them bail or something. Did you sign into online features in game? What? No, I don't know. Uh, did you link your account to Steam? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, correction, we don't do public beta tests of the expansions. Exactly. That's what I said. Can we maybe convince you to make a YouTube video about 7.0 changes once it's final? Uh, you mean once it's... Okay, once everything is done? Not like the one from yesterday that I did, like, at midnight, almost. Probably yes. 95% yes. What is Timelines? Timelines is the next DLC um, for, um, for, for X4 Foundations. You know, we already had Split Vendetta, we had A Cradle of Humanity, we had Tides of Avarice, Kingdom End, <clears throat> and now we're going to have Timelines. So that's the next DLC. Will be a little bit different than all the other DLCs before, as they said. Well, like scenario based and stuff that you can unlock for your ongoing game. We'll have to see. Uh, the question is do we keep the Steam achievements from the beta? Usually, yes. Glad tutorials were updated and added. I was disappointed when I gone to the advanced mining tutorial and it was just Bozo tossing the vessel as mining resource for the star base. <laughs> what? Hacking the ship? Probably. Probably. New Xenon capsules can be boarded. The smaller ships should bail, but aren't currently claimable. Ah oh, yeah, okay. Have they patched the AI behavior when under attack from enemy ships on travel? Is there a new specific order for travel or just the move one? No idea. Cannot answer. Uh, what is the difference between timelines and open universe? Uh, like I said, timelines will be more like a scenario or scenario based. I mean, there is already there's already this thing you start timeline. So timelines and open universe are basically the two things that are now separated from each other. Uh, open universe is the game how you know it right now and timelines will be scenario based stuff so more like you jump in you do something you finish it and you're done that's basically it that, that that's how they describe that in um, the first trailers and everything have you tried the star wars mod yes but two years ago um thank you for your answer you're welcome Hey Max, welcome board. Dystopia, welcome board. Did they fix the game so we can resize the gaming window mode? I have seen your question. I think that was your question on, on YouTube. I have no idea and I don't know why you should need that. And I'm like, sometimes it's it's wild that I don't know. This is wild. Some some questions are I don't understand them. <laughs> But it's whatever. Uh, no, but you can have like different resolutions here. But there's no. No, you cannot drag the the screen or something. That's not possible. That's not possible. <clears throat> 
Hey guys, good morning. I haven't played X4 in a whole year, but I'm really happy for 7.0 in timelines. I haven't touched Kingdom End yet either. I totally missed out on even hearing about it. Oh, whoa. Well, Kingdom End was one of the one of the better story-based DLCs. Uh, though it didn't add too much stuff into the open universe, since the Boron are a little bit separated from everything else. But still a great DLC. Hey, Amended Man. Ban, welcome aboard. How do you feel the AI changes? No idea. I haven't tried it yet. It released yesterday. I have. I had no time. This is the first time I'm jumping into here. Hey, Vahio. Welcome aboard. Newest video on YouTube for version 7.0 is awesome. Can't wait for the update. Hey, thank you very much. A lot of work in that. Also, it was like... It was made out of 20 different clips that I had to... They had to get from all over the game. <laughs> it was kind of wild yesterday. Very wild and... and Fast. Uh, does it unlock anything in the open world? Uh, timelines does, yes. I don't know if everything unlocks, like if, if every single timeline unlocks something, but there are timelines that will unlock stuff, like for example the experimental shuttle. Do you have any clue how to unlock the new Xenon research? No, no idea. Hey Sunimer. Can you show us the new models, please? Yes, in a second. I've managed to get a PE and SE to stop as though they should be boardable. Okay, interesting. The new small F looks like it might be capturable. F? I haven't seen an F yet. Uh, the new ships from the DLC will be playable in Open Universe or only for timeline scenario? I don't know. Cannot tell you. Uh, probably modders will definitely put them into the Open Universe. So, with with mods, I guess 100%. But um, vanilla, no idea. Playing timelines, does it unlock something for the open world, like ships or alliances or anything else that would be different? Yes, Taya. Like I said, ships, yeah. Definitely ships and other stuff, I don't know. Uh, God, I'm so far behind. He's writing so much today. Um, there's a new research project. I've seen that. Yep. And while we're at it, let's not forget the weekly X fact. <laughs> uh, it's the new fastest destroyer in the game. Re it is! Really? Wait, where is it? There we go. Is it? Interesting. Having fun with the beta? I haven't even started yet. No, I had only work with the beta. <laughs> I had only nighttime work with this new beta. Nothing else. <laughs> Also, new AI? No idea. I heard there is some special ship can find in the universe or via special quests. Is there a way to get them back if destroyed? Um, yes, for some of them, yeah. But you have to be more specific. Mm -mm 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 -mm. F is now a Discord in spoilers. Oh, cool. Jor or Hore? Whoa, I don't know. Welcome on board. Uh, you have missed nothing. You can already do in the settings menu, I believe the option only with in settings, game settings, start menu, background scene. Oh, change the background. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Hey, KO Lore, welcome on board. Been a while since I've been around, saw the email from Ubisoft and went straight to your YouTube. <laughs> As expected, great video. See, that is exact. Kalor is did actually gave me the reason this year. Um, drum, drum, drum. Let me see that. This here is the reason why I did a a late nighter yesterday. This is exactly the reason why I did why, why I did a late night video yesterday. Um. Not sure about the DLC, but patches hype? Absolutely. Like, the patches alone are great. How dare you want to have fun with your job? Yeah, pff, I don't know, it's wild. Hey Pascal, welcome on board. Has anyone found out how to kick off the existential crisis? Nope. I I think... Wait, Arthur already did. Uh, but I have no idea. May I ask what model of CPU you are using, Vincent? Uh, exclamation point hardware. And you get like the entire hardware, everything that I use. From sticks, from PC, from everything. 
Uh, do we look on the new ships? Absolutely. Vita, you see? Oh god, this is different. Wait, is that Ukrainian? This is so different. I, I know Russian, but that's different. I have, uh, have issues trying to separate that from each other. What are timelines? Timelines is the next upcoming DLC for X4 Foundations. Um, d search for it. It will be easy to find. How's the stability of the new patch? No idea. So far, okay. How many souls do I need to sacrifice for getting those Xenon chips? <laughs> we'll see. I don't think that many. What changes uh, have they made to the AI? No idea. Ukraine. Ah, okay, cool. Cool, cool. Greetings. Greetings. All right. I would say we play an open universe, a new one. Just because everything's new, new game. Uh, see, even now, the which is really that cool. Us as an interstellar community is fragile. Even Stop that. Which is really cool. Uh, there are game starts now marked as uh, recommended for new players. And I think Terran Cadet is a good choice for, for new players. Emergence, that is. The connection that binds us as an. Ah, that is. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's the. That's the Boron start, but without all the Boron stuff enabled yet. Yeah, that's that's also a good choice. Smuggler's Paradise Stranded. I wouldn't say one of those is good. Queen's Herald, no. Project Genesis, also no. Fires of the Feared and Spears of Patriarch, Patriarch, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And, um. Why not the young gun? I would probably... You know what I would do? I would give the young gun also a star. And I would recommend this as the most open and unbiased star that you can get in entire X4. In my opinion... The young gun is like still the go-to start to just experience everything without any affiliation to anyone. Still. Oh my god, you're going crazy. Like I oh it's hard to read chat today. Uh hey tiny bubbles. Sorry, how to get involved with the beta? Is it automatic if you load into vanilla? Uh no. Um do we have Arthur, do we have a uh a command for the beta? Beta? No. Do not have a command for the beta. Can can you do a small command for the beta, Arthur? Are you is that possible? You can make one? Perfect. Um Easiest way to do this is like going to your Steam. Steam into X4 Foundations, and there... Oh my god, why does that look so weird? Is it not there? Okay, well, whatever. Store page, then... No, not store page. No, whatever. Here it is. Recent announcement. There is also... There is everything you need to know how to get into. Um, where you want to go is to the okay. forum. Follow this link to the forum. There are always links to the forum that will bring you to the forum to the change log and in the change log you will see all the details uh, how you get into the beta everyone can do that but be um, sure to back up your saves just like you need to put in the the code you backed up your saves because the young gun has nothing no guidance probably harder to start story I never said that it's I never said recommended for new players. I said recommended as an as the most open start. <laughs> uh, hey, Captain, I've noticed you are playing the soundtrack in the background. Which one is your favorite? Mine's Kingdom End for sure, with Cradle of Humanity being close second. Um, I don't have a favorite soundtrack. I have favorite tracks. But at the moment, I'm just, you know... Where is it? I'm just using this here, which is basically the... 
Spotify playlist of the X4 soundtrack. And that's the easiest way to skip tracks that I don't want to listen to. Especially like a lot of people are annoyed when we're listening for three hours uh, to the um, to the to the fighting music. <laughs> Um, what mod would you recommend? Um, it's in the description down below of, I think, even of this video. There is a mod list. What I'm using right now as to not change the game in its core, but giving you, like, all the quality of life options. And when you are using mods, deactivate all mods before switching to the beta. Some mods prevented me from launching the game, showing me a shader crash. There you go. That's super helpful. Yes deactivating all the mods when you're jumping into the beta that is that is absolutely right just become subscribed or became a member um 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 i was looking forward to this so much remember spending entire weekend on the x2 the threat as a kid nice should take a vacation for x4 now nice so, quick question, what changed about the AI in your experience in the patch? I have absolutely no idea. Because I haven't played it, I just did a video. <laughs> Doing videos is not playing the game. Question, have you gotten any impression on how the AI was improved? Nope. Uh, do we know whether or not safe games are compatible? They should be compatible with patch 7, though always back up your saves. Especially for the betas, but once the... If you're staying on release version and you're right now playing release version 6.2 and you update to release version 7.0, you should be absolutely fine by just upgrading. Um, Egosoft does a lot of work to... or put a lot of emphasis onto safe game compatibility. So it will probably take a while until the new ships appear and the, the new stuff appears, uh, new station modules appear and whatsoever. It will take a while, but you will you will um, progress into all the changes in your safe game. Usually, that's how it works. Where's the damn Xenon H? Well, we'll see one. Uh, I have a community of planet stuff, but missed that venture season. Is there no way for me to obtain the Yasar ship? The Yasur? No idea. I don't have it either. Because, but I, no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is there a code for the beta? Yes. Um, follow the change log in Egosoft forum. There is a explanation on how to join the beta. I thought you did video, so I thought you had played. No, I'm sorry. I have not. Just rushed through it. Love your videos. Already. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, Taya. We're, we're getting there. Can you show new big cock ships? I haven't even seen them myself. No idea. Can I ask people to stop sharing the beta password, please? Yeah, you, you have to read the instructions. Like, really. Read the instructions. Uh, the password is only one part of the instructions. Please just... Stop it, Diddy! <laughs> Read the instructions, it's important. Uh, so that you're not complaining that your game's broken. It can break games. Attention, the beta can break your game. Follow the instructions, please. Um, all right. Hey, Mono Eye, good morning. Thank you very much, author. That is perfect. That's a perfect thing. All right, so let's go. I want to do a custom game store. How about that? Player. Um, I'm going to be a Boron male. I am... Uh, um, uh, call... Call... Captains. <laughs> Whatever. 
Uh, we got a repair laser. We got a space to thing. Can I get a Sita? That would be great. Yeah, I can get a Sita. Amazing. Um... Can I get all the spacesuit stuff, please? I want to grab that. All right, great. Add some blueprints. I don't. Need, do we need blueprints? I'd like to add all the blueprints. I don't care about the blueprints. Whatever. Became a member. Thank you very much for mem membering. You gifted five memberships, Empress. What? Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting memberships on YouTube. That happened. That's like the second time I think in my entire YouTube history that that happened. Thank you very much. Uh, will there be another paid DLC for X4? Yes, it's called Timelines. <laughs> Thank you so much. As a fellow X4 fan, I have to ask, have you tried Star Sector? Nope, I will not try it, I guess, because it's not a game for me. Uh, what are those RGB things beside your elbows? Those are sticks. New, 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 exclamation point, verpil. I think CEO's dev and the bordering pirate sector are cool, but the rest of the new sectors are pretty lackluster. Ah. Maybe they got improved uh, backgrounds. Oh my, it's not stopping. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, can I play all races storylines with the custom start? Yes, you can. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, what are they? Exclamation point, Verpil. Those are Verpil Constellation Alpha Primes. I've watched many of your videos. You helped me immensely in learning this game. Thanks for all your YouTube content. Thank you so much for watching all of it. Verpil. V-I-R-P-I-L. Uh, it's in the... in the title. The glow adds so much style. Oh yeah, I love it. Or just go to hardware. Yeah, exactly. Captain. Zero book zero. Just recruited 20 new crew member. What the freaking heck is going on here? Thank you so much. Boogie! Zero boogie. Zero boogie. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you very much. I've just been Goodbye. using mouse and keyboard, absolutely valid. Absolutely valid. All right. So, blueprints, I don't need any blueprints. Start a ship. Can I get an M class Hydra, please? That would be great. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I think we earned already everything. Time for time has come. It's really well, time for some. Get your glasses, luck your shoe. Cheers to the captain and the crew. Cheers. <laughs> thank you very much, Boogie! Thank you, thank you! Very much appreciated. Alright, we got ray guns. I need face cannons, I guess? I think face cannons is the thing. Yeah, iron pulse is okay. Uh, docking everything. That's good. Give me some advanced satellites. And we don't need our crew. Argon fighter crew? No, no, no. Boron military crew regular. All right. Confirm. Is that possible? I think that's possible. Okay, great. Name? Um, 7.0 in Joyer. Property. Do we need a fleet? Yeah, I want a fleet. Give me a fleet of uh, some scouts. Iru Kanji. Low preset. Confirm. Give me like. Oops. Give me like. It's over nine thousand. Ten of those. Awesome. Universe. Argon Prime. Known sectors. That's fine. Well, you know what? I want to... Can I get all of them? Damn it, I cannot. Um... Hmm. Oh, where is... Where's the thing? There. Um, I do not all of them. I do not know all of them. 
what do we not need we do not need pluto or cloud um what else is there saturn cigars Um, Uranus. We don't need to know about Uranus. Titan. Uh, what else is there? Rise, divine, sacred relic, Pluto, complex, claim, path to profit, open market, Neptune, uh, Mars, Jupiter. Giant prophecy, gets of Funa is not necessary. I know all that stuff. How about now? Ah, still need to remove more. Damn it. Okay, so let's remove all the families. Um, let's remove Litany of Fury. Where is it? L L L L L Litany of Fury. There it is. Perfect. Uh, don't need the matrix systems. I don't care about them. Morning star is easy. How about now? <sighs> Still not there. Brennan's triumph. Asteroid belt. It was twins. There you go. The animals. Ooh, yeah, okay. Scale plate pack. Savage spur. Second contact. We don't need that. That's not what else? Windfall, not necessary. Um, what's the uh, fire stamina? Not necessary. Is that good? Oh, still not good. What the heck? Uh, I want to know about all the all the new stuff. Open. Leos, sacred relic, uh, let's get rid of all the flower grass cascade, that's good, that should be okay, that's still not okay, oh my god, um, fires of defeat, grand exchange, and that should be fine, that's still not okay. Star. There you go. Alright. Um, faction relations. Whatever. That's okay. Story states. Default. Alright. That's not good. Yeah. How can you reach 64k knowledge? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> what are the new sectors called? I will show you them in a second. Roof any you know where they are and are easily accessible. Yeah. Now I need to reinstall and prepare to lose another couple hundred hours of my life. That's happens. <laughs> that happens. Glow is so distracting. Yeah, I wanted to change that actually into something else. Into low. The low glow is also still good. Not too distracting, but still nice. There you go. That's better. Uh, so yeah, new options, for example, are anti-aliasing, which is TAA at the moment. I don't know why it's TAA. I've changed it to SSAA two times, which is still superior, in my opinion. Though if you have a uh, not extremely high tier uh, graphics card, then probably TAA is easier on your graphics card. Oh, field of view. Yeah, I was messing around with the field of view. You see that in background? That's so crazy. Crazy. Let's keep it 95 degrees, 90 degrees, 95, 95 degrees. Let's keep it 95 degrees. That's fine. Um, everything else is high. Yep. 
All right. Also, a really cool thing, accessibility options now for all the colorblind stuff. Oops. Colorblind mode. You can definitely, you can, you can exchange, you can change every single thing. Like, if you have problems with a specific color, you can change everything. This is like the absolute com most complete option to change to um in any game i've ever seen like this is this is basically this is basically all the options you get as a developer to change colors and these are options are now in your hands this is really really nice I don't need that. Continue game. Okay, great. You can fully deactivate it. That's true. The UI, you can deactivate the UI bloom. Yeah. Uh, I have myopia. If I want glow, I can just remove my glasses. <laughs> I like it. 97 degrees. Okay, great. I always wear my sunglasses. All right, here we are. Look at that. And we're starting immediately with third person view. We there it is. Okay, great. Uh, let me change in that, in that, and that. Great. All right. Awesome. I like that you now have... You can't really see this because of me. Wait, let me remove myself. There you see the, the camera in the background. Here, lower left corner. Uh, the, 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 the radar is now visible. That's really nice. But of course, I am sitting in front of the radar, which is a little bit wild. All right, so we know a lot of sectors already. This is a new sector, Freedom's Reach, for example. This is a new sector, Mukai's Revenge. This is a new sector, Miton's Refuge. This is a new sector, Luma Kenstrat's Legacy. Then we got CEO's Doubt, which is a really nice looking sector, I have to say. And, um, oh, wow, interesting. I don't know about the others. Mist, Mists of Artemis is also a new one, by the way. So, let's send a Nero Kenji into 11th hour. Explore another one. Part to Acrimony. Explore. That will open up a lot of more sectors. Um, that's great. Let's send one in Holy Vision. Explore. Let's send one. Pious Mists, I think. Or Trinity Sanctum? I don't know. Then uh, 18 billion. There are a few things. Second contact is fine. Argon Prime. Yeah, explore here. Uh, open market. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Explore. Uh, Path to Profit. CEO's doubt because I wanna wanna see that. Oh, I forgot the. Oh my god, we need to do. Okay, I see. We need to do so. Oh, I forgot to get the the player HQ. Oh, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Kawada, new big patch. We're already on it. Patch 7.0. All new sectors are from X3. Interesting. You missed one? All right. One. I only missed one. Cardinal's Domain, that one. Great. If I only missed a single sector, then uh, I'm already... <laughs> I'm already fine. Yes. One single sector missed is nothing. Um... <laughs> also, there are now... This is a little bit weird. <laughs> the 
the you can see now asteroids there instead of having like color color uh colors on your screen for asteroid stuff you can now see the asteroids themselves though can you still enable like coloring of those sections because it's actually weird i don't know what they do where like what they are i don't know about this sector or anything Uh, what do you think about an option to change difficulty? Uh, I don't know. I don't think Twitch encoding likes the glow so much. Is it that bad? Is it really that bad? Looks fine. Yeah, it's not it's not as crisp as on my screen. Yeah, I get it, but it's it's okay. Hey JB, does anybody know why the menu of the beta is stuttering and for me? Mm, no idea. A Schleier of the card. Prison Lotus, so welcome on board. Good morning, Cap. Finally catching a stream after watching your videos for years. Wow. Are you liking the new patch? I don't know. Just starting out. Really enjoying the third person, we've been missing it from the game for so long. Um, let me go immediately into what I what I really like to do whenever I start a new game. Autopilot. Basically Engage. going there. Uh, I still have I I have a hard time with the third person. It does look good. Don't get me wrong. It does look good, but the um, the indicators of where you are flying to and where you shoot at need to be changed in my opinion because th that's like if th some some stuff is not lining up Striking. some stuff is just simply not lining up and uh, that makes makes Entering it a little bit difficult system. To see Some where you're actually going, or where you're aiming at, and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a little bit difficult to figure out. How long will beta test last, and when we can expect it on uh, live? No idea. It will last as long as it will last. Uh, depends. Depends on what's going on uh, with. The issues that they are facing, uh, how many issues they are facing, and uh, how fast they can fix them, and also what else they are going to implement into the game before it's going live. No idea. Both indicators would be helpful because of the very heights. App in sector core fixed. I mean sector core exact center of the sector. Uh, I think that that's something that no, is intentional. Disengage. Wait, does that work in here too? Video enhancement goggles does not work. Okay, from the outside, it only works there. New, new. You remember that we had a mod for this? <laughs> this guy, thanks so much for the five pound. Give them good feedback. They listen to you a lot. Ah, I don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes not. Oh, look at that. Oopsie. Interesting. We had a mod for this. Do you remember that? We had a mod for this. That's so funny. <laughs> but that mod was breaking stuff and now they just simply implemented that into the game. <laughs> Uh, quick question, just starting the game. We've got three miners doing silicon. What should I aim to do now? Build a factory, buy more miners, do some combat? That's completely up to you, Joaquin. Completely up to you. What do you want to do? Do you want to get more miners? Do you want to build a station? Do you want to get involved into more fighting? This is the... hard to answer what's, what's going on in your mind. What are the best sectors to avoid the cock? Ooh. 
external camera movement is a bit stiff when making turns to need something moving, okay? Uh, third person looks cool, to be honest. I want the realistic feeling of a cockpit. You can still have it. Um, you can still enjoy your realistic view of a cockpit, while others can enjoy this view. This is really nice, and also, I like that they removed the double pressing of F2. Really like that. Oh, um, by the way, this is the numpad, and if you press 5 on the numpad, you're going back to where you came from. Let's fight a little bit. Ooh. T. T. Nova. Vanguard. M. M? Where? It's a little bit difficult to see where you're flying at because I think it does not align well and also the indicators for your the indicators for your for your guns are hard to see especially like when you have slow moving guns like those it's really hard to see if they're on target or not But hey, the explosions are nice, and I do not have mods enabled. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I see. Might as well just um. Whoops. See, it's a little bit difficult to see if, if it's actually... If it's on target or not. No idea if I if, they, if it was on target or not. There you go. <laughs> I like that something's flying away from. Uh, from the wreckage. I can figure out how to get the Xenon chips. Not yet. Uh, you cannot destroy the build storage. You could oh wait the entire build storage, like not just the wait 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 not just the the boxes but the entire storage. Oh, what are you talking about? I think all this quality of life changes were pushed by X mods and currently used of employees Curti and Shulo. Oh yeah, those two were heavily involved, heavily. Um. Uh, not the docking itself. You could destroy the stuff in the build search, but not the search itself. Now you can. It even shows up as a target. No way! It shows up as a target? Oh, that's wild. I have to see that. Oh, I have to see that. Wait. Wait, let's go. Yes, you can destroy the build storage yourself. Oh, cool. Can you show us the restyled Argon ships? I could. Uh, if we find them. Do you have a build storage? No, not really. Wait, where are the other stations? There's another one. Let me see if I can find a build storage. I want to see that. <clears throat> hey, Rashu. I think you might regret that. For the person of having left a small furry one-legged creature on Dock B, can you please come and pick it up from Lost and Found? It's creeping us out. Wow. Almost too much reverb. I could almost not hear what, what, what it was saying. Something about a creature? Hmm. Too much reverb. Ugh. Hard to listen to. Something about a creature or someone Don't missed a creature somewhere. Civilian ship A. Civilian ship A. Go away, A. I don't know if I'm targeting it or not. T. 
looks nice. Oh, cool! Did you see that? The entire UI changes into the, the color of your modes that you're using. Oh, this is cool. Nice. That's something I haven't seen before. Or I didn't realize that. Uh, not a single station here with with a uh, building plot. Not a single station with a building plot. Um... Oh, we will need to unlock Bozo for... Damn. It's a little bit difficult when you are when you're in new game and you want to see something new. Also, I don't know if they have observation platforms. This is another thing. No idea. Wait, I need to open the, Thanks, the door really quick. It's getting so hot. It's so hot. Also, it's so warm today. There we go. <sighs> uh, is this new exterior view simply the new F2? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Wait a second. Not 24-7 in the map view. Is this really X4? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let me see if we can get something else. If we see something else. In Karkachua, Vanguard. All right. What's funny is that uh, Betty cannot say the new Xenon names. <laughs> when you enter or when you engage into a fight with Xenon PE, Betty will just say nothing. And uh, same with Xenon B, Xenon H. There are... Uh, there are no voice lines for that right now. Same with the Ravager. Well, it's not what I need. I'm just looking for something that is building, but then nothing is really building here. <clears throat> Cap your rope is Hosas or Hotas? It's Hosas. It's uh, stick and stick. <laughs> shame Diddy, shame! You also need to read your Discord message Diddy, I wrote you something uh, very important. Oh, well, wait, is that? No, that's a ship. What's that? Buffalo Barbarossa. Ah, Barbarossa. Barbarossa. I want to actually to fight the New Zealand ships, but here we are looking for something else. You know what? I don't care. I will show you a few new Xeno ships. <clears throat> you can disable the glow completely or reduce it, which is very respectable. I appreciate the free up update. Yep. I like the UI glow. Even though the Egosoft employees said it on stream, they said, no, nah, this is just a video filter. I don't know if, if it was just a video filter and they implemented it after we said, oh, this looks extremely cool. Or if it was really, there you go, there's a mic. Wait, that's, a, that's an SE. That's a Xenon SE. That's a new one. I like they got like new weapons and stuff. That's a new ship. Oh, it looks so nice, detailed. Much more detailed than the other Xenon ships. Way, way, way more love for the uh, for the Xenon. This is so much better. 
It actually looks way more like a bug now. <laughs> Funny. The SE is like a silver fish. <laughs> it is, right? We can remove the glow just from the UI. That would be great. Uh, you can. It's possible. I just, I just like the glow. But you can just simply go in here. And into your graphic settings. UI glow quality. Turn it off. And it's gone. It's so easy. I just like the little glow. There you go. No glow anymore. Just like before. No glow, no, nothing's glowing or whatsoever. Oh, that's very detailed. No. Uh, that's possible, but I like a little, I like a little glow, you know. I like to be, I like to have a little bit of glamour in my, in my game. <laughs> I like that glamour. Hey, Chemical, good morning. Welcome on board. How are you doing? Oh my god. All right. Um, love this game so much, but sometimes I nine percent on the map. Yeah, I know. You need sometimes you laser also tower you, mark one. A xenon laser tower mark one. Excuse me. Fighting ship SE. Are you good at fighting? Oh, it's gone. Kurao Kami. Kurao Kami. That was a Xenon SE. Big mistake. Very big mistake. I like the uh, the wreckage models a lot. I like that it's not just a not just a, a black wreckage anymore without any textures. But instead it's like visible what kind of ship it was. M. Um, there's a PE. There you go, the Xenon PE, which you already saw at, in the video, I guess. That's a new P model. Looks also more detailed. More buggy. More like a bug. Oh, and you definitely need to watch it shoot. This looks great. In my opinion, that's great. Look. This is awesome. I like that a lot. Should I turn off fire and smoke mod? Yes. You should turn off all the mods when you're playing the 7.0 beta. All the mods. Turn them all off. Uh, then install the 7.0 beta. And you will have more fun. Or you you are even some sometimes you're not even able to play Kapitän the game. Chemical Azar supported with 136 euros. Oh. Anu Graphics Channel Goal. VHY just won. I'm just I'm not Rocking reacting to anything today anymore because I'm so stoked. Chemical. Thank you for literally buying the stream. Combat engineer. Thank you for literally buying the stream. What? I feel like on a ring. That's a behemoth E, everyone. Uh, welcome the behemoth E. The new ship, new Argon ship. Argon Federation behemoth E. Right there. It's a little bit longer. It looks even more like a like a plug now. <laughs> like an electrical plug. Alter Falter. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Thank you so 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 much, Chemical. That's absolutely wild. 
Early Kuokami spotted. <laughs> Would pirate that one. Yeah. Lol, was this passiert? Is there a way to see maximum glow in X4? You want to see maximum glow? You want to get maximum glamour? Maximum glow is wild. I have, like, maximum glow is just... Unimpressed. It's just... Ah, full glow. Glow enabled. How much glow do you want? All of it. It's so shiny. I can give you more. What's that? You know, this is E. Alright. It's so shiny. It's too much. <laughs> That's just too much. I'm sorry. More. <laughs> Get the ray bands out. <laughs> Where am I? I don't have ray bands. I just have glasses. <laughs> That's shiny. I know. <clears throat> it's better on the UI elements on third person, but worse on the map. Oof. What about FPS? Um, 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 what's like? What was the? What's the thing again? Oh yeah, by the way, this is the new control section. If you haven't seen so far, you can. Uh, you can customize every single input device, and you can see all of them and the options are unlimited. Look at that. Roll, 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 roll. Roll right. That's got that many options. The options are unlimited. With every single, every single thing. Uh, display FPS counter. Oh, there. Where is it? Ah, there it is. 80 at the moment. 85. 80. Oh god. Um, what do I want to do? Ah! There's also this thing now! The radial menu. This is, you of course, uh, done for controller players. If you're, if you're using a controller, you now have two available of, uh, radial menus, which you can use. Which means you can put 16 different um, bindings on, like, two buttons of your controller. This is really nice. Uh, radio menu needs to be configured first. If you downloaded the, the beta already and you, you're using it, you go into your control settings and then there is menu access, open radio menu one and radio menu two. So you can have two different ones, which is extremely cool if you're using a controller and you want just more options on your controller you can have 16 more options with just the press of two buttons I can take more than that. and that works with every that worked with every... does that not work anymore no not like that it works with every um primary steering axis on whatever device you're using <clears throat> Question for you, my dude. Do you think they would add a small scavenger class ship with a salvage weapon of 25% efficiency and no shield as a starting situation? Because I would love a starting scenario. Uh, you can make one yourself, Drefar, with the custom game mod or a custom game mode. You open a new universe, you go into new game, and you go into custom game editor budgeted. Because on budgeted, this is not modified and allows you to get all the achievements during your game. Um, creative is modified, budgeted is unmodified, and you can ju just do your, your own thing. Are there performance improvements? Uh, a few of them. Like one of them is, for example, the implementation of TAAA, TAA has an anti aliasing method. Uh, this is one of them. You're going for recycling. You're going for recycling. Come here. Pew. Ah. I don't know if I'm on the ship or not. This is a little bit difficult to see. I also don't know which 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 blip is which weapon. Try again. 
they got it. Ooh, nice. I did not have my... You may Hello? Live to regret that. You do, ah, buddy. whatever. You not survive. <clears throat> what do you think of the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick? No, I didn't, haven't had one. I'm trying to get into contact with Logitech for some reasons. Uh, some X4 reasons. Enemy but I I'm, I'm, haven't had the chance to get any Logitech oh, joysticks. Way. Implementation of TAAS. <laughs> Sorry, that's just me. All right. Danger. Whoa. Wait, did it explode after a while? Wait, no way. What just happened there? It's gone? Wait, no. Wh oh, what's that? Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, interesting. It's a little bit... It's a little bit rough here. Are we still at the right gate? Right there. Yeah, we are. Oh. There you go. That's more like it. Yeah, that looks that looks right. <laughs> I was like, eh? <laughs> why is the, the the planet doesn't look right? Oh, I like that your UI changes. This is this is great. The UI color changes, and I know in which mode we are. Oh, great. Um, I think the Nilla Faction e-ships was to make them on par, I guess, with the DLC ships looking great. My favorite was the Builder's update. Um. The Builder? What do you mean? You know what? Let's, go ahead, let's get in there and show you some Xenon ships. Hazardous region detected. Not only hazardous region. Entering system. Does it change in first person as well? Well, in first person, you always saw your in your surround in your surroundings what's going on. You always had like this this light that always showed you like what's going on around you. But now it's also a um, a thing on the outside. Wait, what's going on here? Where are all the zoom? Honey. What happened? Interesting. Also, the field of view is a little bit weird because that ship has got a gigantic cockpit. Danger. There's a PE. What's going on here? Are they? Behemoth E. They're actually going to fight the Xenon here, or what? What the heck? Oh! Okay. That's okay. Okay. Bam! Oh, great. Awesome. And that thing also explodes after a while or what? Let me take a look. So this is now oh, a wreckage. Wow. Cerberus, Wait, Vanguard. Wreckage. Processable wares, none. What do you do now? Mm -hmm. Just 
thing. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Can you create your own faction and control the map, though? Yes. Uh, they're always watching and lurking, though. They always manage to sneak up on me. <laughs> How many new interiors? Oh, wait. Whoa, that was automatic. Interesting. I haven't, I haven't pressed anything. Is it now going to explode? Uh, how many new interiors? I don't know. I have seen a Terran, uh, a Terran manager's office, a split manager's office, a Taladi manager's office. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Um, probably there is a Perinid manager's office. So that's new thing. And then we have observation, um, observation platforms for stations now. Which I think is just one single, um, one, one, one single design. That's it. S and M Argon ships have been restyled. Uh, not that I know of, no. No. Reborn, Jindobre. <laughs> Can't recycle it? No, you cannot recycle Zinni ships. Um, wait, why not? Usually you are able to. Weren't you able to recycle that hey. stuff usually? Oh, that K is coming close. Damn it. Any Danger. improvement to the hazardous region detected. Any improvement to the U Wait, what did you say? Any improvement to the AI using big ships to attack targets? Not that I know of. But one thing that I've seen is this here. Huge update. Something that you haven't seen before yet. Huge update. Only available with mods usually. Right, look at that. We were... I was talking with a good friend about that just two weeks ago. We were like, damn, you know what they should implement? They should implement um, turret behaviors that target a specific target first but not ignore other targets. We just talked about that two weeks ago at night on a parking spot. And we were both like, yeah, that's some something that Egosoft should do. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, that's something that Egosoft should do. <laughs> just talking about that. And now it's in there. Attack only capital ships. Attack capital ships first. Prioritize capital ships. Attack only fighters. Attack fighters first. You were in the bushes? Ah, damn. <laughs> I mean, it's not far away from Munich, so... Hmm. Ubisoft always listening? Damn, they hacked my phone, I guess. So, okay, that, that's proof that Ubisoft hacked my phone. Interesting. Shoot only missiles. Shoot missiles first. Love it. Amazing. Amazing. Really, really great. Now you can have... Um, for example, great for L-class beam turrets. You do attack fighters first. When there are no fighters, your beam turrets, L-class beam turrets, are now shooting capitals too. Great. Have you looked at the global orders yet? No, I have not. Embedded chill turrets. Yes! That's awesome. So I got one burning question. Since they released this DLC, did they make any mentions on diplomatics or expand on sector owning? Uh, no. Nothing like that. Priority turret targeting is the one thing that promotes X4 to the best space sim out there. <laughs> wow, okay. The baby born plushie is the listening device. Damn. But it was not around. The performance any better? I don't know. I would probably say yes. Uh, do you know if it's more optimized for AMD GPU? Ooh, I am using an AMD GPU myself. I have no issues, but I'm using SSAA instead of MSAA because I think it looks better. I was testing it and MSAA looks not as good as SSAA. <clears throat> Egosoft probably hired the mod dev. <laughs> they did. 
All right. So what what did you say? Something about options. Some. What did I? Behavior. Explore. Unable to reach destination. Default behavior. No, what did you say? Wait. Have you... Have you... Where, where are you? Petlar. Have you looked at the global orders? Ah, global orders. That's somewhere else. Uh, global orders. Global orders. Global orders. Global orders. Oh my god. What the heck? Default global response to attack. Use judgment. Military ships. Oh. So I can say escape. Military ships. Retaliate. Default global response to found abandoned ship. Mark it. Ignore it. Default response to found lockbox. Collect it. Ignore it. Uh, default response to pirate harassment. Um, escape military ships. Attack. Default global response to found contraband. Um, destroy. Use default. Ah, ignore it. Default global response to police interdiction. Comply. Attack. <laughs> Comply. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your SSAA set on? Two X. Two X. Two X is um, basically the same as four X. For me, at least. Is it possible to disable this atrocious glow? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, though I like it. I like it a little bit shiny Seven. in my life. I have to voice it out. Ego soft, please. Add flight assist as push and hold button. We have it for boost, so why not? I'm waiting for it five years already. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, Kalima, welcome on board. Any chance of some fleet combat today? Uh, we can try it. I think. Well, actually, no. Well, yeah, we can try. Uh, but not in this... Not in this... Um, save. Let me... Let me uh, save the game. Beat composition video. Yeah, I can overwrite it. Look at the stream or the recording though, the compression with low glow destroys it. It's fine, in my opinion. I like it. I like that glow. Um, let's go into... Uh, let's go into... From yesterday. That one. No, that one, that one, no. Marcos Cascade, that was that. Um, yeah, that's an older save. Now that, by the way, I can now show you that loading up an old save uh, with a with an older version is possible and should not be detrimental for your experience. Kingdom End is the only DLC that adds a new race. No, that's not true. Uh, Split Vendetta adds Split. Cradle of Humanity adds Terran. Kingdom End adds Boron. And... Uh, Heights of Everest adds, adds just some pirate factions. Factions, not races. Well, basically, Terran is also not a race, but it's Terran. <laughs> All right. It's Terran. How's the performance? Great. 
Uh, you can check my hardware, exclamation point hardware. I think it works on YouTube. I hope it works on YouTube. Does it work on YouTube? You'll find a toolbox on the docking area. It's contents. Yeah, like there. Uh, there we got a link to the hardware that I'm using, and you can see if it's actually if it's something you can relate to. Okay, look at that. This this is this is a little bit bigger. That's a little bit bigger. Science knows no boundaries of race or faction. Kurao Kami. Kurao Kami. Nice. That's a little bit bigger. And a little bit more stuff. Uh, the last XCM I played was 2 when I was a kid. So I'm thinking if the 38 euro price tag is worth it. If you can get everything for 38, the entire collection, yes. Heck yeah, absolutely, 100%. Terran is its own economy, so I would say it's the same. Yeah, roughly, basically. Hey, Cap Apply. Are mods working? I have a few paint job mods and decal mods installed. Um, you have to try it out. If it's possible or not. I cannot tell you that. Uh, I cannot tell you that. Ooh, popular camping spot. Look at that. The Urking with Leroy Jenkins. They are attacking the station. That's an Asgard. Did the roof just fly away? Wait, what? <laughs> Did missiles get any love this patch or are they still bad? Um, there was something about missiles in the latest... There was something about missiles in the change log. Wait, let me see. Um... Ah, no, that was something else. It's just an indicator. Ah, uh, I, was, I was thinking of something else, but this is basically what they added. Uh, added number of available missiles, missiles or bombs in ship interactions and ship loadout menus. It's just an indicator of how many missiles you got on ship. It's not like new missile thing or whatsoever. Anything else about missiles? Log range, log time and resilience against countermeasures to missiles in encyclopedia. Added checks for miss, uh, missing. Miss, missing missile. Changed missile reload bar to automate, uh, to animate from full to empty. Okay. Improved flight behavior of guided missiles. There you go. Improved missile hit detection. There you go. Uh, improved combat behavior of missile armed fighters attacking large targets. Well, I guess the answer is yes. Missiles got some love, yep. Does this new third person view work for the XL ships as well? Let's find out. And what could be more XL than an Asgard? Is this beta public? Yes. Entering system. The void. Oh, wow. Hello. All right, let's find out. That's an Asgard. And this is third person view. Wait, why can I not fly? Autopilot ah, disengaged. It works somehow. <laughs> it's big, but it works. Defense drone, Xenon defense platform. Kind of. <laughs> works kind of. 
Oh, miss the title with the rockets. Can you add the X4 beta command to the title? Oh, yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Nothing easier than that. Uh, wait, X4 beta, right? What else? <laughs> okay. Right, there you go. Uh, does fly by boarding still work? I have no idea. Someone said something about immediate response to pirating or something, but I have no idea. Oh yeah, there you go. Well, that was interesting. It's a little bit difficult to see when you're shooting with that thing because everything's so small <laughs> compared with the Asgard. You know, everything's just so small. Wait, does that work? As oh my god, what just happened there? What? Defense ammunition in. Okay. Get out of here! Hey, oh my goodness. Wait, does that work? No, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, come, 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 come. Oh, it's not ready yet. Damn it. It takes forever to reload. Come on. There we go. N. <laughs> Wait, let's see that explosion. Oh my god, that explosion is nice. Whoa, that's a nice explosion Kay. though. Wow, look at that. Great. <laughs> That's how I like my Xenon. Crisp and burning. <laughs> That's how I like them. You play with mods? No, since this is a public beta, I'm not playing with mods. You're overheating the main weapon? Yep, that's standard. Did that K just blip into existence? Yeah, we're close to a gate. That's why. Uh, we're standing next to a gate and it basically just jumped into the system. Everyone knows that if you lean in real life, it makes you move faster in that direction. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Crispy, exactly. Oh wait, I can do... Uh... Oh, this is cool. Now I can do attack capital ships first. Attack capital ships first. Capital ships first. Oh, capital ships first. 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 And then... Attack fighters first. Attack fighters first. Oh god, where is it? Uh, attack. Oh god. Where is it? Fighters first. There you go. Let's see if that works. There's the fighter. There's a flag shooting it, but what about the... What about the plasma turrets? Captain Collins would like to remind...
invite the passengers to follow this channel and even subscribe to enlist as a crew member of Space Operation Delta. Thank you! Still not done yet. So that works. Uh, you can definitely follow your Asgard like that. What else we got? The Earl King. How about that? Teleport to the Earl King. Sir. Uh, uh, straight up here. Thank you. That's mine now. Um, attack capital ships first. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, it's a little bit difficult, but it works. Oh, there is a... There's a building plot. Wait. The building plot is not attackable. Didn't we just talk about an attackable building plot? Ammunition container. It's not attackable. Who said that the, you could you could actually shoot this thing? Let's see if I can destroy that. Liars! <laughs> Is it empty? Yeah. There's nothing there. Yeah, but I don't care. I want to remove that thing. It is in patch notes. And what's it called? Build thing. Building. Right. Where is it? Um, what's it called? Station being built, storage, build, build storage. Oh, well, let's try build. Improved station destruction by transferring remaining cargo to build storage. Deconstruction. Ah! Oh, great. Okay, cool. Uh, Trinity faction fixed light ships getting stuck when trading with build storage. Guided missiles not properly targeting stations and build storage. Station not sending resources to the build storages under certain circumstances. Interesting. This is all just fixed. That should be added. Added icon on map for ore feigned build storages with wares to sell. Added link. Added full module names to search in station build menu. Build menu. Build menu. Build menu. Added option to mark build storages as hostile. Okay. Okay. I cannot click on that. It's not there. <laughs> we will probably find out later on. Um, we'll probably find out. What's, who's that? Is that a raptor? Yep, that's a raptor. Okay, let's try something. Let's try something. Um... Alpha group. Oopsie.
Okay, that's that's basically standard. <clears throat> Get out of here. Come on, move. Nice. Takes forever. Okay, fine. Neo. Uh, remove all orders. I'm back. She. Show me how good you are. <laughs> Can you come back to the ship fast? Uh, have we? Have they said when approximately 7.0 and timelines will be out? No, they have not. They have not said that. I noticed that the interface looks much brighter, but it has been, but has it been changed with this update? Yeah, there is a glow now um, implemented into the game. Well, probably, I don't know if I'm, if I want to keep it glowing. If you say that the compression on on Twitch and YouTube is not doing it well, maybe we should disable it. But ah, it's so, it's so. It mi it's missing the glow. <laughs> she. It's missing the glow. Okay, they still take forever to do that. Basically the same. Uh, capital fights is a thing. Um, capital fights. Ooh. Well, that station is gone now. Interesting. I haven't done anything. Last time I dive, I... Oh, there it is. There's the build storage. It's actually there. Autopilot. Disengaged. Interesting. Autopilot disengaged. Where is it? Ah, no way. No way. It's actually there. Finally. Can the intensity be adjusted? Uh, the quality can be adjusted, not really the intensity. He actually did it. But that would be a nice thing, yeah. Red. Hey, burn it. Who's laughing now? Marking only works <laughs> if it's orphaned, meaning the station it's attached to is gone, destroyed, or recycled. Um, but that doesn't make any sense because I want it to be gone before. Well, I can destroy everything that's inside. That's one thing. What is the reason that the build storage is still there then? You know? Oh, now it's gone. What's the what's the reason Laser tower that there is an one. orphan build storage? I don't understand that. Hey Joshua, hello company uh, How does the overall performance of the game in an advanced game safe look like? Well, you see it right now. It's, it's it's okay. I guess it depends on what kind of system you're using. What's the best graphics anti-aliasing getting setting for AMD cards? Uh, I am using SSAA two times. It looks the best, uh, but I don't know if it's like the the best to use um, performance-wise. <laughs> Infusion. <laughs> is that is that Portuguese? <laughs> 
MSAA? No. I have no option for SSAA. Not SMAA. SSAA. SSAA. Those two. TAA is should look smoother, but it has got problems with fast movement. You will see some blur and you will ask yourself, where the heck is this blur coming from? I removed like the blurring or whatever, but it's coming from TAA. Show us. It's very difficult to see. You will only see this like on on the small dots in front. Uh, maybe I can show you that in a, in a fast fighter. Uh, I don't know if it's actually visible or not. Let's go into something fast. Uh... Oh, and this one here. This this is annoying. This here is really annoying that it's... Oh. My knees! My bare knees! Uh, that you can see the... Uh, the info box is in front of your map. It's a little bit annoying. Something, something is wrong there. She got the house. Let's go into she got the house. What? I had a twist in there. SSAA costs the most resources because it takes the textures as native resolutions and up upscales it. Exactly, yeah. Entering system, 18 billion. Autopilot, disengaged. You see that? Oh, there, there. You see that? The What's happening with the, with the dots in the middle? This is because of TAA. See that? This only happens because of TAA, and that happens with other with other stuff too. You go back to my other anti-aliasing um, setting, then you will not see this happen because it's really not something that it's coming from the game. Look at this now. Nothing. See the difference? Yeah, I couldn't live with the TAA setting. This is the weird, very weird. It is way better on RTX GPUs. Oh, there you go. Could be, I don't know, I cannot test it. Well, I could test it. I have a 1650. <laughs> oh, but it's not an RTX, yeah. Uh, you can change it in AMD driver options? What do you mean? Here comes another K. Wait, what? Did that guy just fly between the solar panels? Yep. <laughs> AMPS. I was asked to drop my. That ghost thing is pretty sad. Yeah, I don't think that it's something that they can really uh, that that Ubisoft can really change. <laughs> Welcome, pilot number three. <laughs> Um, what has TAA to do with RDX cards? I have no idea. What about that new ship on preview? Uh, I don't know what you mean. There are multiple new ships. Multiple. Um, let's see if we can find one. Probably there is none yet. Since the Teladi have not built one yet. Um, but maybe we can buy one. What is this? Oh, Vigor. Oops. Here. There you go. That's the Phoenix you know, right? That's the standard Phoenix. The high presets you have. Everything's there. That's the standard Phoenix. And that's the new Phoenix E. This is the new... This is the new Phoenix. Better gun placement. Uh, I can actually shoot now forward. Look at that. That gun can now actually shoot forward. <laughs> that was not possible with the other one. Here, 
not possible to shoot forward. The other one can can do that. So that's that's an uh, that's an improvement. The new model looks great. I think it looks a little bit weird, if I'm honest. Like, wh why is it? Why does it look so weird? <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit too long in my opinion, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> uh, is there another one? Crane E. Look at this. Oh, we got new. Oh, I didn't know. We got new miners. This is the old miner. Crane gas. Crane mineral. Now you got crane E gas. Interesting. <laughs> Kapitän der Schurke supportet bis 2 Euros. Admiral von Schneider anwesend und stößt mit Miss Sophie und Kapitän Collins an. Skoll. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So that's a gas miner, and I think the mineral miner will have some boxes, right? Yeah, boxes, nice. Gas miner with some with some tanks and the mineral miner with some boxes. Then we have the freighter, which looks also nice, really nice. Well, better, I would say better. What's the other, the old heron? That's the old heron, a little bit stuffed. The old heron and the new one. A lot more like EVE Online, if you ask me, a lot more like those. What's that race? I have no idea. Keeps the same spirit, but it makes more gritty, like very industrial looking. Amar, thank you very much. Like the Amar, exactly. Let's have a look at Argon. What do Argon got? Uh, we already know Behemoth Vanguard. Standard Behemoth Vanguard and Behemoth E. Longer, more detailed. Um, and that's it. We do not get Magnetar E or not yet. Interesting. Are they, are they fine with those, with, with those models? I think they're, they're just simply fine with those models. Okay. No E minors. Well, at least we got some. Oh, Colossus Vanguard and Colossus E. Oh, wow, that's huge. This thing is now so much bigger. Is that M-Class docking base? Wait, is that... And where are the S-Class docking base? Where are the... No, wait, what? Where are the S-Class docking base? Are those S-Class? The front. Ah, there. Yeah, here. Right. And here? Ah, the same. Okay. It's just longer. <laughs> it just became a longer plug. Oh, interesting. Uh, anything else? Any new other new ship? Not really, huh? S-Class, M-Class, nothing. New. New. Split. Did they got something? No. No. I don't think that the split got something. Do you already find the new areas in X4? Um, yeah. We did. Uh, 
but um, I have to show you one. Where's the ship? Um, I need a ship. Shibby ship. Shibby ship, come on. Uh, this one here. A fox. Explore. Oh, wow. We. Come on, Fox. Uh, yeah, we got new regions. Exactly. Geometric center is still in the whole... <laughs> I don't know. I got message from Bozo Ta to visit him to do something. Pay 50 million credits or investigate something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that sounds a lot like Bozo Ta. There's memory of profit. Where the heck is uh, CEO something something? He actually did it. And they called us mad. Mad. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Entering system. Memory of profit. New. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, where is the gate? Oh, oh, okay. Fair nicht da. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah, there's the gate. Got it. Fair nicht da. Thank you very much for the prime. Welcome on board. <clears throat> you already found it? Uh, I did in older saves. Or in, in other saves. Hey, Kalima. What do we know about improved balancing of mineral and gas region yields across whole map? Nothing so far. Um, that needs a little bit more testing. At the moment we're just jumping from one feature to the other feature. And not really doing anything. <laughs> just exploring. So we have to see how this turns out to, um, to work in a... In a in a normal environment, normal scenario. Yeah, we gotta see that. Check the data vaults. Why should I check the data vault? <laughs> I'm not checking data vaults. I have stopped checking data vaults since 2019. What's your greatest wish Egosoft would add to X4? Oh. The greatest wish that Egosoft should add to X4. Entering <sighs> system. CEO's doubt. CEO's doubt. Um... Dynamic diplomacy. <laughs> Unknown got it there, right? Dynamic diplomacy. Um, I think the I think the universe is too predictable at some point. I think I, I want I want less predictions. I when I when I jump into the game and I know okay, Argon is going to fight the Holy Order. Argon is going to fight the Zyre. Terran is always going on a killing spree to whoever. Uh, Zyre will always have a hard time with Boron or what, whatsoever. And uh, I would like to see that change over time. And I would like to be able to... Um, I would like to be able to manipulate how they see each other. That's something. Like, this is such a beautiful system. Look at that. And I think... This is even... Like, one of the best skyboxes.
one of the better skyboxes at least. Where are you going? Who are you? Oh, thank you. We're not fast enough. Oh yeah, and uh, maximum zoom has got some issues. There are some flicker issues on maximum zoom yet. Right now. This looks so much like a star base. Tell me this doesn't look like a star base from Star Trek. Like, come on. Red. Oh my god. Alert. W4 stent space rated space operations delta with 198 viewers. <laughs> Wasted space. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on board, everyone. Hope you're doing great. Great shout out. Wasted space. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your new uh, X4 run. I've seen you playing this like for one and a half weeks or something. Hope you enjoy it a lot. And... Uh, <laughs> I wish there a lot more hours. That's absolutely wild. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. It's been amazing. Loving the game. Yeah, it's great. And it's so much, right? It's just Hello there. absolutely wild. It's 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 a lot. Nein, fang nicht. Du hast zwei Stunden. Was? Nein. <laughs> the Admiral was a little bit confused. Okay. Uh, does it look like a space dog? Absolutely. So yeah, that's that's a new system. CEO something something. What's it called? Wait, no. Uh. Uh, CEO's doubt. Though I doubt that it will change a lot of stuff. Early game. There you go. Let's see how many stations there are. Nothing. <laughs> Here you go. There's an empty se sector for you. Interesting. No. Oh. Thank you so much for the followers. Welcome aboard, everyone. Doubt. Hey, Tominor. Captain Collins would like to remind the passengers to follow this channel and even subscribe to enlist as a crew member of the Space Operation Delta. CEO's Doubt was in previous X Games? Ah, yeah, okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> Call us in the sector you are in are so nice. Yeah, like I said, it's like one of the best... One of the... Best looking skyboxes so far. But don't try to look at something on the planet. Hey, look at that. There are like... Clouds. <laughs> but it looks really good. Heck, did they change the, the weapon? They changed the, the weapon placement? I don't think so. Love that. Love that. This looks so cool. Uh, there are some sectors there that are just very plain. Like, um... Do not add that much stuff to visual fidelity. But this one here is really nice. Hawks, my beloved. <laughs> there you go. Are there new systems? Yes, we are in one right now. CEO's Delp. There is a total of... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven systems. I can't remember anymore. Se seven or seven or eight. Seven or eight new systems. Yeah. Lots of like sport devs in chat. Always good learning curve. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And there's also like a lot to, a lot to acknowledge that is like, not working right now, like this one here. Hey. Don't need to work on that. And on that. Not nice. Need to be removed. There's like, there's the wrong layer. If I would be in Photoshop, I would say wrong layer. Okay, but there is one thing that I have no clue about. Oh, 
Kapitän First Officer Joachim supported this 10 Euros. Love you channel. Keep it up, coffees on ME. <laughs> Thank you so much, First Officer Joachim. Thank you very much. Uh, take care of the boys, they will normally behave. Oh, I hope. We got uh, we got good quartermasters here to keep the to keep the guys in in uh, what do you say in rail or something I don't know whatever not my native language <laughs> sorry <laughs> thank you very very much first officer Jerky very much appreciate it have they announced when 7.0 will be out of beta no we just entered beta yesterday uh, the, there is. Even Egosoft cannot say how long it will take because they want to make sure that 7.0 works and is well balanced before they publish it to everyone. So, it can take a while. Don't put that much pressure on us, you mad. Hey Dutch. <laughs> Purple base getting rolled. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Ah, uh, not really. I mean, what is that? T-E-M. Wait, uh, I forgot what T-E-M is. Hydration time has come. It's drinking time for some. Ah. Get your glasses, not your shoe. Cheers to the captain and the crew. Cheers! Thank you. Thank you. Hmm... T-E-M. Duke's Tempest. Ah, Tempest. Yeah, yeah, that's after after you finish the Duke's Buccaneers quest. Right, when you build their, their temple or whatever. Any idea how much longer till the timeline DLC will drop? Nope. Oh, I see we're getting... <laughs> Alright, that's, that's fine. Uh, no, absolutely not predictable. Uh, since we need to... Go through all the betas first. Um, for some of you, maybe if you've been, if 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 this is your first time going through beta phase with we Ubisoft, um, usually we will see a few iterations of the beta. So we're starting with beta one, then two, three, four, and whatsoever. Sometimes the new patch um, is being released after beta five. Sometimes after beta seven. It depends. It depends on how much stuff is to do. Um, before. Thank you very much for the Prime. Welcome on board, Leinster. Uh, so it depends a lot on how much stuff is to fix, uh, how many new features they want to introduce into the game, and they're gradually improving the version until we reach a state of releasable 7.0 version. And with 7.0 release, usually, or with the big Patch release usually will get the DLC um, combined with that patch. So until the beta is running, there will there won't be a DLC. If the beta is done and we will see a released version 7.0, the DLC will most likely be published with 7.0. Most likely. Whew. Any info on the landmarks? No, no idea. Any clue about the crisis? Absolutely no idea. Is there is there a quest or something? Maybe? The Alliance Invitation. No. Terran versus Xenon. No. I wouldn't know how to get there. Me eons to remember what M. <laughs> yes. uh, do we have any new soundtracks? Not yet. Probably with timelines, but not yet. Uh, I would say the beta run at least one month. I would say the beta runs at least six weeks. Yeah. Is there going to be a crisis? There is already a crisis in implemented. It is already part of. It is already part of. Uh... The, the beta 1, 7.0 beta 1. New feature, late game crisis for advanced players. I have just no idea how to, how to get there. No clue. But it is already in the game. 
I think Arthur, Arthur has been there, but he doesn't tell me how to get there. <laughs> Any clue at all about anything? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> but dates is really hard. Has it really been two years? It has been two years. No, 14 months. <laughs> it has not. Thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Hey, patch up. Uh, every DLC so far comes more music. Great music. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful music. X5 when? Um, yes. How's the AI? Has the OOS versus IS battle outcome difference between? No idea. No flashbang. No idea. Um, haven't tried it yet. We can actually try this, but I don't know. At the moment, they are fighting something off. Why, is, why are you flying away? There is a Xenon K. There are Barbarossas. There's an Asgard. That Asgard is fighting something else. Remove that, attack that. I mean... Remove that order, please. Where are you? God damn, you're so far. At so high up, remove this order. There. Let's see if that works. See, Tom? All right, and now we'll go and get it. What's going on? Sita aborted. I don't understand why. Hello, King. Known criminal identified. Remove that order. Attack the Xenon K. Please assist in pursuit. Oh. They are attacking, but... Interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 what, what are you doing here? They're so high up there. It looks better. I cannot tell you if that actually makes more sense, but it looks better. Why are you not turning? Oh, it's trying to keep its distance. It's trying to keep its distance and and to um, to surround it. Interesting. Look at that. It's not even losing um, shield. The Asgard is not even losing shield. And it's hitting the Xenon K. I mean, that's a win. Not bad. Not bad. I'm impressed. Slightly impressed. Cautious, but impressed. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know what's going on there. I'm. I'm. I. I cannot. I cannot look into what's going on at EagleSoft. So I cannot really tell you. Popular camping spot. Interesting. How about? Attack. How about that? I'm going to attack. Oh, there we go. Those are the fighters. Interesting. We're going to attack with a bunch of fighters. We're going to attack a Xenon K with a bunch of fighters and the Raptor. 
Let's see how that turns out on the map. Smuggling vessel found nearby. Please assist in pursuit. Let's see how that fight turns out. Interesting so far. Very interesting. What are we fighting with? We're fighting with she. She. And what are their loadout? Oh, light guided missile. Interesting. Boat repeater, tracking launcher, plasma cannon. They should be able to at least do some damage. I guess. Yeah, the K is losing shield already. And has a hard time hitting those fighters. Is it finally possible to overwhelm an enemy with fighters just with numbers? That would be amazing. Are you telling me that carriers are now viable with a bunch of fighters? I haven't lost a single fighter yet. There's not even a single fighter damaged. Well, this is nice and concerning at the same time because that can also happen to you. That can happen to you and this will be... Oh, this will be something that you need to counter. Interesting. I have very few anecdotes, but it feels like Corvette's frigates are much better now by the AI. Seems so. I mean, look at the fight. Even the uh, even the capital is like acting kind of nice. The capital fight looks interesting. The behemoth tries to surround it again. The the K is just on spot. Tries to hunt it down. That always has been possible. I've never tried it that much. Not getting hit at all looks a little bit weird. Use one carrier, 40 fighters, and destroy an eye on easy fight. Okay, interesting. Check it in system. Easy. Speed composition might be important. True. Your capitals will need a fighter escort carrier. <laughs> Do weapon types matter in OOS, meaning flak, etc.? I don't know. I would need to ask someone else. Uh, he's not in here right now, I guess. So, we're in uh, system now. Okay. We're in system. That's how it works. Thanks so much for subscribing. Uh, Vigor likes to spam fight. There's always a problem even versus Asgard, but easy to resolve with laser towers. Hmm. Oh, look at, look at that. There's a capital fight going on. Behemoth uh -oh. Sentinel. Yeah, he's done for. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, a Xenon K is an XL ship, right? Destroyers are only L-class ships. There is a Xenon L-class ship now with the, uh, I think it's the Xenon H. So this is more likely a, f a, f a, fair, a fair fight versus a Xenon H. Saying.
Uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to see if I can fight my way out of it and what my losses will be. It's about time someone clipped my wings. I like that approach a lot. Hey, CPTG, any of those new Argon capitals around? Um, not right now, since we're in a... Oh yeah, there is one. Yeah, there is a new capital around. Wait, where is it? I thought not because this is an old save, but somewhere there's a... Tokyo. Behemoth E flying around. I cannot see it right now. Let's jump to the Tokyo and have a look around. Where is it? There. Behemoth E. Behemoth E. Uh, there. There you go. That's a new one. Why are you burning? Excuse me, why are you burning? Is that... Is that our diesel engine? Is the, does that thing run on diesel? Okay, it's not burning anymore. Nice. Bad fuel. <laughs> Where's my Zen and Q? Whoa, we need to find out. Is that K using the new Needler turret? Hmm. No idea. Question, what start do you recommend in X4? Uh, Jan, are you... New or are you an experienced player? Uh, am I the only one with no in-game sound? I haven't pressed shift V so sound should be on. It's a lot quieter now. It's a lot quieter now. Oh, I love these turrets. So these turrets look so cool. Does it actually hit? Gladius. Seven. It would be so nice if the lovely people and bots on YouTube liked the video and leave a comment, even if it is a salute. Ah. Oh seven. Yeah, we have two hundred and eighty people watching on YouTube. Are you kidding me? We have 160 likes. People. Can you afford to click the like button? It would help out a brother. Thank you very much. Help out a brother. Katana. Why are they fighting the Terran Protector? Oh, whatever. I don't care. Fight the Terran Protectorate. It's fine. Need something for my nose. One second. Ooh. No, I'm not talking about coke. <laughs> not that kind of stuff. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, hello, I'm back. Um... Two hundred and five. That looks so much better. Thank you very much. Thank you for the twenty-five people that clicked like right now, and thank you for the hundred and eighty people that clicked like before. Nice. Look at that. So I don't know. You have to. You have to tell me if, if those fights look actually better or not. There is a Kartana harassing a Behemoth E. The Behemoth E has got a hard time. And thank you for all the follows today. Maja dust? Yes, Maja dust. <laughs> Sorry, I heard it should have been more clear. Maja dust and um, space weed. Uh, space weed, which is uh, legal now in Germany. Crazy stuff, right? Hey, Captain. Would you say Alpha Prime is a significant upgrade from Thrustmaster? What? You talking about Alpha Primes? Compared to Thrustmaster, I just simply say yes. All right, new video incoming in I hope two days about these. What can you research? Uh, good question. Can I research the? I cannot research the Xenon stuff. I don't know how to get there. 
Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Let me talk to Bozo Ta. Uh, where is he? Maybe, just maybe. <clears throat> Fighters used to drop out of travel way too early sun. when attacking. Is that a little better now in 7.0? Uh, as we saw, yes. Um, but just a few minutes ago, we were attacking a Xenon K and the fighters were basically... Oh yeah, that's another thing that I haven't even uh, haven't even realized. The fighters were engaging into the fight with the Xenon K almost immediately. Like they went straight to the Xenon K and immediately go into swarming and fighting. And they were not like... Travel speed, uh, and then flying to the target, and then they're at the target, and they then they start to swarm. No, that's gone. Yep, they immediately uh, went into fighting. Was there any date for timelines? Uh, yeah, 2024. How's my personal office look like? That's still the same? you Hey, there is a person. What the hell? What are you doing here? Many come. Can I help? Uh. Goodbye. Why is, why is there a person sitting on my chair? Can I help? Sir? I'm your boss. Get out of there. Oh. Now I'm sitting on top of you. Dear passengers, we have wild stories running around the station. Please be aware when entering and exiting your ship. Look around. Before you close your cargo hatch. Ew, we have furries. <laughs> what is Hail Shinneman doing here? How, wait, uh, why is he passenger? I am so confused. What are they, what the heck are you doing here, Hail? What? I'm confused on so many levels right now. Um, manager's office. What kind of manager's office are we looking at here? Is that the Argon one? Yeah, that's the Argon one. That's the standard management office. That you remember this here? Yeah, you remember that? All right. Can I not jump there? Oh. Okay. Um. Teleport. Hello. Hello. Standard. Entering system. Profit center alpha. And Teladi. Bam! Look at that. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh. What's this? Hello. Hello. Thing. Ah, cool. I haven't seen that door yet. Completely unnecessary door, but hey, who cares? Hello Hi. there. Hello there. Hey, Datmon. Greetings. Greetings. Good profit to you. Thank you. Very cool. That's the lottie. Um. Can we jump somewhere else? What's this? No idea. Can we jump there? No. No. No! Is that the only one? Argon... Teladi... Yeah, you just have to believe me. That there are more. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the subscriptions and follows. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Health and safety. Oh my goodness. The health and safety protocol. Uh, there's the Dimitar docking at the Holy Order. Oh, that's one that I haven't seen myself yet. Bye bye, bro. That's one that I Entering haven't seen myself. System. Holy vision. Fun fact, you can see the Boron script in their manager office. Wait, what? <laughs> is that a modded safe? No. I may want to look at the Shinneman situation. Uh, this is not a modded safe, but it's an old one. This safe 
started with let me see 6.0 stranded i can send you that safe if you want to but it's an old one but you need to write me on discord so that i remember because i cannot i will i will forget about it in in in, in two minutes you can mine or for commander because mine just sit there. I don't know. Have you boarded the Xena ship yet? No. Do you recommend starting a new game or going with a safe game into the beta? Into the beta? If you're comfortable with one safe and you don't want to miss it, then you can do it, but probably going to... You could lose... Um, you could lose all your progress from the beta if something goes wonky and whatsoever. So why not just simply starting a creative custom game start? Take sure ta ani, uh, take, take sure muchinaba. Welcome on board. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Those are, by the way, the new streaming times that we're on right now. Um, so if that works way, way better for you, then you will follow. Just like McGrady. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, I can't miss that. Demeter Vanguard. Can't miss that. Open, please. Ah, nice. Thank you. Awesome. Have you ever seen that thing going up? Uh, opening? Have you ever seen this thing going down? Opening? All right, we're at the Paranid Station. I haven't seen this manager office myself yet. Perinit management office. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Wait one second. There we go. All right. Captain salute. Hexes, thank you very much for 12 months. Congratulations, Ensign. Ensign Hexes. Oh, that Hello. looks nice. Hello. Oh, look at your robes. Cool. Wow, with the glowing light. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, the Holy Trinity. One, two, three. One, two, three lights. Ah, oh, cool. Interesting. What's that? Can I use... Oh, oh, I can zoom here. What the... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Very nice and shiny. Oh, look at this. Is there another door or something? Very, very nice. Ah, oh, so shiny. Whoa, what the? F okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, dude. Um, what about engineering? Did they change something there? I don't think so, but that's like probably the next. Yeah, that's that's. I cannot say for certain, but that's maybe something that's also important in the future. Why not doing this? Zing, thank you very much for the prime. Why not doing this as a as a maze or something? Cool. So, Perinit, Perinit Manager's office also. Seen now. Great. Uh, five lights? Wait, five lights? There are four lights. What do you mean? What? No. <laughs> Man of Troy, welcome. New office is slab. <laughs> they do. They do. Thanks for your tutorial videos. Bought foundations the day it came out, but didn't bother to start till this year. Mainly because of your tutorials. Thank you, Mac Grady. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the game. General Akbar, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked the build station manager? Three new parts. Yes, I did, William. I did. Um, maybe we can. Can we go into the safe game that I did yesterday? 
I was asked to drop my cargo. Is that the one from yesterday? Arkos Cascade. Ah, that was the one earlier. Right promise an online save. Interesting. Um Ow. Uh, what we could do is I can show you that really quick. New game station design simulator. Any mod with good split chip? I don't know. The improved Rattlesnake, Rattlesnake Mark II. <laughs> There we go. Um, let's do the uh, pocket shipyard. The pocket shipyard is crazy. And there we got. Con it does say shield component production. Wait, because there's like. Oh, okay. Observation desks. Three observation desks. Let's put a penthouse in there somewhere. Um ooh. Where can I put that? Is there a possible spot to put it? There? No. Well you can put it just everywhere you want. I mean Put it right there. Doesn't matter. All right, for module changes, close menu, and now let's start new game, creative, start, um, ah yeah, first dates, Puzzletan. research, teleportation, property, Pocket shipyard. <clears throat> All right, let's put the pocket shipyard into this is a new sector. Put it there, not headquarters. The pocket shipyard. Is that the pocket shipyard? No, that's headquarters. Hello, sector. Here. No. Uh, L L L L L. There you go. Right. Starting ship. Doesn't matter. Discover. Sure. Start. Just found a new pirate role. SCA Harasser Discover. <laughs> How'd you get the observation decks? I don't see them. Um, first of all, are you in the beta? And second, they are just in your other modules. At the top. All right, here we are. And let's jump right into that pocket shipyard. Great. That's the shipyard. Entering system. Lumangstrat's legacy. There's a lot of stuff built in here. And now... Where is it? Observate. Oh, wait. That's what I've seen yesterday. Exactly. If, if someone still from Ubisoft is in here. Um, that observation platform. Which one was that? The... Uh, the penthouse. I don't, I don't know. Probably. Oh, yeah. Unknown. You will need to buy the blueprint. Probably. In order to to buy it uh, to build it. Attention, all departing pilots! Pirates have been seen in the sector. Be careful. Be careful. Um, the penthouse. The penthouse observation desk does not have an observation thingy. 
<laughs> oh, look at the time. <laughs> what is the best way to start out for a recurring player? Um, probably with a Boron. With one of the Boron starts. Wait, continue. Um... Meg Grady, thank you very much for subscribing! Thank you so much. Yeah, the penthouse observation desk is not working. Let's put the conservatory observation desk inside. Start a new game. Budgeted. No, not budgeted. Uh, creative. Story state. That one. Research that one. Um, property pocket shipyard. Seals doubt. Let's put it there. Seals doubt. Awesome. Sorry. Is the extension settings menu gone? Uh, no, it moved. The ex its extensions menu is uh, moved. I can show you in a second where it is. Should also save the blueprint after making the change. Oh, did I not do that? Ah, it doesn't matter. I don't. I don't want to save it like that. I just want to show you the observation desk, nothing else. Entering system, CEO's doubt. Is it not there? Didn't save the blueprint, that's why. Alright. Um once more. The extension settings not extension, or is that menu in itself a mod? Ooh, I don't know. I mean I know what you mean. That is in itself a mod. Yes, yes it is. There's extensions now. But the extensions settings in itself is a mod, yes. Captain, Jig70, just recruited 10 new crew member. Absolutely wild. Thank you! It is a mod, yes. Uh, it is... Oh god, what's it called? Is it mod support APIs? Um, it's one of those mods that adds it. I think it's mod support APIs. Yeah. Whoa, what the heck is going on? Big Wolf Chris, thank you so much for tier two. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. For three months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um wild thank you very very much appreciate it. um let's see hello continue damn that is a lot of extensions that's a lot of yeah i know i know i know um conservatory stop i just want to put it in i just want to put it in the middle of that damn thing let me put it in the middle right there malcolm in the middle Confirm changes. Uh, what's it called? Pocket shipyard. Override plan. Force construction. Wait, can we just jump in there? Teleport 2. 
Oh, yeah, we can just jump. Ha, ah, interesting. Okay, cool. Wait, is that? All right, we can just jump in there. Conservatory observation desk. There we go, finally. Yeah. A little bit of wine. Edeka. Look at that, we even got a supermarket. This is a public service announcement. Please remember that Paranid and Taladi visitors will suffer allergic reactions to cashew nuts. Do not leave your snacks unattended. If you do find a suspicious bag of cashews, please call 0800 these nuts. Say it, see it, nut it. <laughs> Say it, see it, nut it. <laughs> Captain, look out. Big Wolf Chris cheered 1000 bits. Big Wolf, thank you so much for a thousand bitties. And also Steven, thank you so much for a hundred bitties. Thank you very, very much. Do you see any, any nuts? This is amazing. This is nuts. But look at that. Can you jump off from this platform? Can you jump off this platform, please? <gasps> Almost. Almost. Let me jump. I will find the pixel that let, lets me jump. Come on, there has to be a pixel that lets me jump. Come, 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 come. I will break the game. I will break the game. Oh, almost. Come on. Let me get out there. <laughs> Let me get out. These nuts. <laughs> Jump on the table first. Oh, God. There you go. Table. Okay, now. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Almost! Here they go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't seem that useful. New manager offices also are not useful. New management offices are also not useful. But do we like them? Heck yeah. Or am I wrong? No, we like them. Let me jump off that thing. Damn it, I'm good. That's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. Damn it. <laughs> well, you're lucky I'm not stuck. Awesome. Um, great. What else do we want to see? Low game. Uh, from today, this one. No, that's wrong, but okay. Typical gamer gets in your room. Guess I'll throw it myself. <laughs> hey, Nico. Collect escape pods, like collect wares. Ah, oh, whoa, really? Okay. <laughs> this is how I discover the weirdest of bugs. Try my best. <laughs> Sorry, it is my fault everyone puts invisible walls everywhere. I have a habit of going places. Ah! Oh, and thank you so much for gifting a sub to Daygore. Daygore, interesting. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Hey, Baba's big blast. Good morning. Why is there a weird glow everywhere? Entering the system. Atmosphere 18 billion. Probably. Probably, uh, this is not where I want to go, but okay. Where the heck are we? Isn't that with coffee haven? Yeah, exactly. I wanted to see if I can, if I can get terraforming ships. Do you remember if, so I had, um, I had an issue. I wanted to show you terraforming ships, but I couldn't see those terraforming ships. If I go and I, build something here are they sending over terraforming ships or those those um those terraforming drones if if they have stuff because or or do they need because my mission is already completed or do i need to do something else like water surfacing i don't know reflective particles 
for Finn. Cap, can you do a YouTube series with station designs? Oof. With station designs? We have a Discord server with station designs. Ah, nice. Uh, we have a Discord server with station designs. <clears throat> is it up to the player to trigger the beginning of the new crisis, or is it just tied to progress time net worth? I don't know, Sergey. I was asked. I have to no drop idea. I don't know how to start it. I haven't haven't found it Something yet. Something hit us. Bubble city, housing. Let's see this Let's start. Under attack, the Euro King. Yeah, I know. Uh, teleport. Could you see differences and improvements in the beta? Entering system. system. Absolutely. Black hole A lot sun. of stuff. I cannot tell you, like, all of it. But there's definitely a lot of stuff going on in the background. So, see, what I mean is I started... I started the terraforming project. And usually I thought that they were building drones. Are they not building drones to send over the materials? Like, how do they send over the materials? start the crisis you need a big empire <laughs> what's the use of terraforming terraforming is great i mean uh that's one of the only ways to train your pilots and stuff in a very easy way there's an aerial maze which is like your your pilot training and you can um, you can repeat that as often as you like, and you can train a lot of pilots like that. You can also train marines that way. Uh, you can have, like, a lottery thing. There is... Where is it? Where's the lottery thing? <laughs> Isn't there a lottery thing here going on? Wait, where is it? Ah, fun startup. There. The success chance, 10%. You, uh... You put 1.8 million in and you can get 20, oh, 27 million out. That's an interesting thing. Get some money there. And also you get a really nice uh, Steven achievement. Try the live stream view of the station. You're missing Claytronics. Are you a real captain? Um... <laughs> What is some of the criteria for the endgame crisis? I don't know. I don't know. Earth's... Wait. Some... Wait. Someone from Ubisoft said I should check data vaults. Is that how you start it? Data vaults? You'll have to get a dingy so you can be a real captain. <laughs> thank you! I already have a rubber boat. Is that enough? <laughs> captain Pirate, thank you very much. <laughs> Is there a rubber boat? <laughs> oh, it's not? Ah, oh, damn it. Are you the real captain from the Steam stream? <laughs> Steam stream. <laughs> Is it still running? Oh my god. Is it possible to tear from Mars? Nope. Uh, not without mods, I guess. Aerial Maze. <laughs> uh, you have a video about terraforming? I, I think I do, yeah. Is that, wait, is that terraforming drone? No. Is that terraforming? They're not building terraforming drones. And that's why I thought maybe we should maybe we should reallocate this entire thing here. But so many field coils. So 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 many field coils. I don't know. I don't know. Did we already start something? Oh yeah, here. 
We do not have claytronics, I you say. Incoming ships selling claytronics. Alright. Uh, can I not go like Sita here? No. I have to find a ship and sit in front of it. I already tried, but. Lotus, Mineral, Vanguard, Autopilot, disengaged. Uh, stop. Docking granted. No! Stop! Get away. Get away. Damn it. Why are you doing this automatically? They're, they're trying this automatically. Oh my. Docking aborted. There you go. Alright, that's a lot of stuff. Come on. Bring me stuff. Build some build some drones. Still no claytronics? They're not building drones. They added new sectors? Yes, Mr. Skyner. Right they added new sectors. Uh, seven or eight, I don't know exactly. Sharp ears, hey, welcome boy. I read somewhere about needing a minimum half billion in assets to start the crisis, but there must be something else. I guess so. those wobbly ships what's going on there I wanna see if they built something or not uh Hulrin welcome boy good morning I just checked I'm only at 300 million right now so yeah maybe just need another 200 um I don't think that that's a, that that's something Total value of trades? Where is it? Total terraforming. Where do you see this? Account? Where do you see it? Empire? Net worth? 4 billion. Well, should start. <laughs> should start. Yep, do you know how to fly? Ah, sometimes. Hey Alex, good morning. Chip bouncing look like the new feature of the bit. <laughs> what Xenon ship is flyable in this beta? I don't know. Hey Yuma. Uh, it's happy hours. Hey Bob, thanks so much for following. Bob, Bob, Bob. <laughs> Xenon P, only the big ones need to be boarded. 4 billion wood should do it. Again, must be something else. Yeah, exactly. They should be flyable in beta. I also wanted to see the the terraforming drones, legacy terraforming, something, something. I don't know where they are. What we could do is, I think the Earl King has got... But how do you board peace? Like, how would you board a Xenon P? It doesn't make any sense because they are too fast. You know what I mean? How would you even get those? I don't know. Just saying it's not based on network for reasons. It's not meant to be transparent to players. Okay. It's not meant to be transparent? Okay. 500 million cash since the price to opt out. Since it's the price to opt out. Wait. 
need 500 million cash to opt out of the crisis. Oh my god. Uh, you'd get a Xenon P to bail out their only M class ships. Hey, how to build them, lol. Why their BP in Xenon? <laughs> PE are flyable. Just wait and see that boss will interrupt you. Hopefully, you'll know it's started if it starts with something like I do not concern myself with the Minichu way of conflict. Wait, what? Interesting. Okay. Okay, so how about we're trying to get. Um, a Xenon P. And we are going to try that in the locks. I had 1.5 billion cash and it started immediately. Hey, Mr. Bob Bobbington, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Right, let's start. Let's, let's try that. Waiting for release. Any idea what the end game price is? System. What, what's the end game price? No, no idea. Absolutely Sir. no idea. Autopilot disengaged. Oh, this is so nice. So agile. Where are we? Uh, we're in 18 billion. Okay, we can go to. I think they got destroyed really fast there. Um, oh, Family Bob is mine. There's an M. Family Bob is my sector, so I will probably try it right here. Autopilot engaged. Great. How to opt in? No idea. Instructions unclear, self-destruct engaged. Yeah, that's how I feel today. No idea. There are a lot of no ideas, I said. Hey, choo-choo. Entering system. Silent witness. I think they mentioned in the beta video that you have to enable the endgame crisis in the settings when creating a new game. Uh, I haven't seen it. No. Haven't even seen it in a creative start. No. I mean, you can't disable like highways. This is really cool. Uh, well, no. Or in, probably, if you go in here, there is one thing. Just saying. This research will unlock the ability to modify the mysterious new variants of Xenon ships at personal ship production installations. Interesting. Does that mean that we can swap out Xenon equipment? Oh. Hey Arsenal, good morning, welcome boy. Can you select the Xenon ship at start? No, you cannot. I tried it, you, uh, at the moment you cannot. Am I being stupid or is there no load game button in the in-game menu anymore? Engram, it's hidden a little bit. It's now um, divided into timelines and open universe. Timelines, you can start timelines in here. And open universe is what you are looking for. There is your load game stuff. And new game stuff. 
it's now hidden behind open universe. Ah, you found it already. Okay, great. But for everyone else to answer that question, it's right there. Uh, is it worth it to use the beta yet, or should I stick to vanilla until the up update is ready? That's completely up to you. Do you want to check out the new stuff and maybe run into one or two bucks? Then, uh, yeah, why not? It's already in a pretty good state. Lord of clickbait. <laughs> Wait, was that a clickbait question? Entering hmm. system. This automated message is being broadcast hmm. exclusively in the proximity of her. The Cock Ravager is a new ship, right? Science yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It's the extraordinarily rare reactivation of a jump gate. The what the hell are timelines? That will be the new DLC. Timelines will be the new DLC um, for Expo Foundations, and it's more like a scenario based DLC where you jump into scenarios and you finish those and then you jump back into your open universe. Also, why do I not see Xenon H or Xenon B so far? At new games, we see those. There's an I. Oh. I. I. Interesting. Hello. Hello, buddy. Don't touch me. Entering I'm sitting system. in front of the game. Family. Nice. Zen. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, let's see how the autopilot now works in an uh, in an asteroid field. If there's any kind of improvement. Still a little bit meh. <laughs> well. All games have an endgame crisis. You need an endgame fleet and it seems at least 500 million in cash. I don't know the requirements, but everyone I saw had at least tons of money and a shipyard. Oh yeah. Is Everest in the budget to custom game start yet? As in you cannot show Everest in 6.2. Um, You need... I think you need to set the story first. Uh, the story state in your, in your custom game start. And if your story state aligns to... Everest, then I think you can show Everest. Is that true? Creative. Uh, story state. By Arcadian Endeavors. North River. Everest 1 and 2. 1 and 4. Right, I mean. There's Everest. It's there. No issue. Extraction shooter comes to explore. I don't think so. So how rich do I need to be to get the crisis triggered? I guess 300 million and the fleet was not enough. <laughs> I see. Good morning. Welcome aboard. The Xenon have a chance to abandon ship if they take enough damage now. Or do you need to board them by force? That is exactly what I'm trying to find out right now. Look at that. There is already the guy that I was waiting for. Autopilot disengaged. Awesome. Let's find out together. Let's go. What do you... Can I scan that guy? Oh, shit. Let's find out. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Do 
Save a game, save a game, or I will sing again. True. True, true. Got 8 billion in a 6.0 world. I would imagine that would be enough to trigger the end game crisis when I update to 7. Probably. Should be. Space highway to the danger zone. Who? Come here. What is that? What is that health bar? Wait. 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 Wait, 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 wait. No way. Come here. Um, turret. Wait. Improve tolerance. Fix turret control. Fix inconsistency. Floating turret. 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 Turret tolerance. Turret. Turret control. Inconsistency. Okay, wait. What? Since when are you able to... Oopsie, what the heck is that? Excuse me? Since when are you able to target turrets on an M-Class ship? Since when's that a possibility? Please uh, uh. <laughs> to see here, please. One second. Um, scan mode enabled. Crew zero. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Um wait a second. Greens. One. One. Wait, where's my... You already got a Marine on board? Marine? Marine, we got one Marine on board. Okay. No! It's unclaimable right now. Yeah, known bug. Do a save. Uh... That one, right? Before claim, claim, me, claim, oh God. claiming Xenon PE. Time to board. <laughs> Can I do this myself? What is that joystick setup? Cosmic, this is uh, a Verpool Constellation Alpha Prime. 
I'm not using a throttle, this is a stick and stick combination. I'm using a stick as a throttle, exactly. Exclamation point hardware and you will see the stuff that I'm using. Um... Oh, I thought that. <laughs> I thought the ship is moving, but I was like... I was pushing my joystick right there. Um, can I disable VRO ships? Yes, of course. Wait, what? Huh? What? <laughs> Targeting turrets and the like on M's. How old is that feature? This is this never happened before. I mean, we already had the. Uh... <laughs> we had, <laughs> we had, we had a nice uh, reaction to when <laughs> when I said, "Oh, look, the turret is actually." Targetable. This was the reaction of uh, a person that should know what's going on there. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> time to claim it. Time to board. Yeah, I would love to. It does not work there. Uh, have to cap it first. Xenon ship has no crew, no cockpit, that's why you can't board it. Nope, that's not true. Hey, Chaos, um, there are boardable ships right now. One of them is this here. There aren't any hack points, can't claim either. Can't self-claim either. Oh, okay. Why is, is it better than using a throttle? Um, I like it more. I think it's more responsive than having a throttle. It's be in, in my opinion, having two sticks is better for sa uh, space games. But for flight simulations, it's probably better to have a throttle. Uh, uh, uh. Need a bigger monitor? I do. I do. So, let's see. And by the way, where's that? Where's that turret? It does not work, right? There's no, there's no signal leak or anything. Yeah, there's no signal leak. Can I? Can I, for example... Hello? Uh... Lux. Can I tell my ship to board it? My ship, right Sir. here. Attack, no. Uh... No, it's not how Lux. it Alright. Hmm. Not possible. Might have to reload yourself. That's right. <clears throat> Captain is so far from his tiny monitor with the joystick attached as they need to get closer to the monitor to see the details. That's true! I'm one meter away from here. I would need something bigger. 27 inch, one meter away is a little bit small. Hey Tibor, good morning. That's a very pretty ship. It is. Try put down shields. Uh, did not work. I did that before already. Go out in spacesuit. I could try that. That's true. Uh, there is some kind of mod for boarding Xenon. If it is installed, then there's no problem. Um, there's no mod, no. Uh, there, or I do not have a mod installed. Not a single mod. It's still Xenon property? Yeah, but that shouldn't... Um, that shouldn't hinder me from boarding it. You know, I don't mean... I do not want to claim it. I want to board it. That's, that's the difference. Hey, demon! Welcome on board! I've been busy with the move. Oh, where are you moving? Where do you move to? 
Request docking permission scan. Yeah, it does not work. Captain Collins, always enjoy your content. Thanks for what you do. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so, so much for coming back all the time. Started fun to get the Captain Projector in a cinema screen. <laughs> EMP it? Ah, that's good. Uh, the H, B, F, P, E, and S, E are now capturable. In Altleiningen! Oh, you said that! Oh, yeah, I remember. Altleining. <laughs> Leininger. Oh, my God. They, they have a very good... Uh, they have a very good wine festival. Somewhere at autumn. Around autumn, there is a wonderful wine festival the entire town will be flooded by people demon <laughs> hey pepper nut welcome on board uh 7.0 is great so far new fiber line installed <gasps> i'm so jealous damn it why is it just standing still because it is boardable at the moment but you cannot board it right now man let's try it in a sir, try it in a spacesuit can i help oh, get out sir Get out! <laughs> Lux. Let's try it in a spacesuit. Oh, by the way, uh, another thing that they that they improved is uh, spacesuit maneuverability. <laughs> Look at that spacesuit! Oh, it's going places. <laughs> Woohoo! That spacesuit is going places now. I can repair the Xenon. Nice. Where would be the entry to that thing? There? Where's the entry? Is that the entrance? That looks like the entrance. Can I can I repair this? Yeah, I can repair it. Amazing. Amazing. A needler turret. Interesting. All right. Well, if I can't have it, nobody else should have it. Spacesuit bomb. Nobody else should have it. There you go. Bam. It's flying away there. That's like the CPU of that ship flying away. <clears throat> Yarg, how goes the day so far? <laughs> Captain Craig, welcome on board. <laughs> you have to fight it again and hope it bails. The issue is fixed in a future version though. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Can't see cockpit. Yeah, this is like... So, wait. Um, let me go in here. There, exactly. Um, here. Flyable Xenon ships for the first time in X4. Hold on to your pilot seat because there's more. Start the game with, already! <laughs> again, with the 7.0 update, we are enabling you to actually fly selected Xenon ships. 
Both the redesigned Xenon models, PE and SE, and the new terraforming models introduced in 7.0 can be boarded and flown, just like any other ship in your explore fleet. Get on board to discover we how they've been adapted for you to take control, offering a new a whole new perspective on the X universe. Which means, yes, there is no. Oh Locks. my god, I'm drifting away. Uh, there is no. Um, cockpit but somehow they are going to do this i mean if you play star citizen you know ships without glass with, with, without actual visuals Locks. to the outside you know there is like this this one ship that looks a little bit like a xenon ship um where if you sit in that ship like the 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 uh, the interior changes into um visuals of the outside so like the 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 interior changes into a big screen and it looks like you're looking glass. through glass i guess they are trying to do something similar i don't know I, I would like to oh my god what the i would like to uh tell you how this works this is wait this is a xenon f I never I have not seen a Xenon F before. Oh, this is new. Oh, that looks cool. I want one immediately. Whoa, what the heck? I need this in my life. Wait. I need this in my life. Crazy. That's cool. That's so cool. Very want. <laughs> yeah, right? Looks so cool. What's that? Ah, that's another Xenon PE. Okay. Oh, damn. That's me, by the way. Oh, critical. Ah! Welp. Ejecting. All right, cool. Good talk. Emergency eject successful. Damn, that P that that F looks amazing. Haven't seen an F before. Um, all right, let's get something bigger. Like the Albion skunk. Entering system. The tail on and crowded. Rent. Yes, exactly, Chris. Those. New design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, there is. These are new designed Xenon ships. Corral this is so coming. nice because finally, Sir. after like how many years, we get new Xenon and cock ships. Apparently, there are also new cock ships which I haven't seen yet. Where is a? Okay, there is a defense platform. Look at that. We could probably get in here. And Auto take a look at new ships. Engaged. Finally, we're getting new enemy ships, and I can't wait to fight them. Like for real, not like today, but for real fighting them. And also like grabbing those and implementing into my fleet. That's whew, amazing. Just think about your Oh, this will be oh, this will be so cool because the next run that I want to do in X4 is actually a mercenary run. And now think about a mercenary run where you're like boarding Xenon ships and you're a mercenary with like a Xenon fleet that is fighting for you. Oh, this is so cool. Absolutely love it. We have the Albion Skunk. No, I just called this thing the Albion Skunk. <laughs> I just called it like that. This is a uh, Kurao Kami. Entering system. Profit center alpha. I'd fly it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, new. Oh, crisis only. Okay, well then, forget it. Autopilot disengaged. Whatever. Okay, fine. Good. Let's do that instead. 
Auto autopilot disengaged. Uh, I just want the experimental shuttle. Oh, you will get it, Vagabond. Autopilot engaged. You will get it. Mercenary run with all red hot. <laughs> As a twin, hey, welcome, boy. Yeah, co-op is the thing, right? That will be that will be something. That would be something. Yaki gang for lore. <laughs> Entering system. Silent witness. I want to do mercenary run too. We're working on something. Uh, or actually, uh, error name is working on something. That could be very interesting for a mercenary run. There will be a mod, but we we'll need system. this in our I'll lives. Hey, Space Tuna. Did they change a lot of models? Uh, not many, but a few. <laughs> What's the decal on that ship? Not customized? What do you mean, decal? Oh, yeah, it's Danger. not customized. Hazardous uh, it's not customized. My bad. Arcus Cascade. <laughs> My bad. There you go. Space Navy. Yaki start would be cool. Yeah. Wait, what about the crisis? Uh, can you only use Xenon ships in the crisis? Mm, no, that's not how it works. Want the Xenon hub back? <laughs> All right, let me go to the to the bathroom really quick. I'll be back in a second. All right. Entering system, family Zin. Oh, welcome back. Okay, interesting. Interesting. What do you want? <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. 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 Autopilot okay, let's try it again. This time with a little bit different, um, with a little bit different approach. Well, better, better weapons, of course. I just noticed for whatever reason I was booted from Discord server. We did a gigantic server swap. Uh, we sweep a gigantic server sweep, where we. I mean, I said it 15 times or something <laughs> that you need to do the new onboarding. We have a new onboarding system in the Discord server to have like way better um, targeted information for people on the Discord server. And I didn't want it to have a Discord server where I need to blatantly like send out messages to everyone. Uh, instead, I want it to be more useful and targeted than before. And we achieved that. Oh my god, what is going on there? 
M. Uh oh. The onboarding system is nice, actually. I did it this morning. Nice. Hey, sharp ears. That's great. Um, I try to send out messages also that are that are useful for you. Like, for example, just recently, yesterday, I think, for Once Human. I don't know if you're aware, but um, Once Human started in open beta. And, I'm like, this morning there were still some spots open. And I wanted you to know that, so I pinged survival and fps people and i hope that that some people just got um hold of that and are now participating in the beta i am scared Done. i am so scared They're, these are the, the too many ships too many too many no i'm bailing p P. Just a simple P. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I need to fight those guys. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's do this. P. That's the old one. Too many. Too many. Oh damn it. Yeah, too many. M. Oh, oh get critical. It. Ejecting. <laughs> Forget it. Emergency eject successful. <sighs> what are you doing, huh? What is that guy doing? Hey, stop hey! Stop eating my stuff! Space suit. Huh? Space suit. Space suit. Wait. What? Interesting. My crew bailed. That's new. Uh, soul cap review of the new beta. Your impression? A good step forward. A very good step forward. Are you scared a little bit? Dean and F's hurt a lot. Oof. You're also live streaming something different on Steam. How clever. <laughs> this is not me. It's actually... It's actually uh, Egosoft who are using my old streams for showing off the game. It's not me. But there are actually 600 people? 600 people there? What the heck? Yeah, so um, they asked if they can use my stuff and I said, yeah, sure. Um, let me see something. Ooh. 18 billion black hole sun. Shibby make ship face. Asgar, are you still fighting some... Oh my... What are you fighting there? Okay, let me do a new run and I, let me show you something. Load game, there you go. Um, no, not load game, new game. Creative start starting ship let's get something cool m class uh i like my hydra i preset i preset hydra great confirm whatever boron all of them
Uh, property, I don't care. Universe, uh, remove sectors. We know all of them. Property, S class, scout, hybrid set, confirm. 20. Section relations. No, not the Yaki. Hello, where's Terran? Uh, so far so good. Where are Zyre? Rock Patriarchy. Rock Patriarchy. Story states, uh, HQ. Escalation complete. Patriarchy. Whatever. Uh, kingdom end. Okay, that's okay. Research. Uh, star stage plan, universe, proper. Right. <clears throat> hey, Rory. Is the Yasser available in game yet? I have not played since the Boron DLC, so I'm hoping they added it. Uh, no, it's not in game. Did you test building a station? No. Recycled streaming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if Egosoft is fine with that. Don't forget you have that start you just made with a Hydra. Mm, yeah, true. Yeah, whatever. I want to show you something else. Discoverer Sentinel. I wanted to show you something else. Um, that explorer, explorer, explorer. Thank you very much for subscribing. 18 billion. What's an alpha? Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for all the follows, all the subs, all the everything. This is absolutely why. Thank you so, so much. This is a massive day for me. And for Ubisoft, and for x and for everything, you know. It's fine here. Fine, in Saturn 1. Captain Collins would like to remind the passengers to follow this channel and even subscribe to enlist as a crew member of the Space Operation Delta. I have not seen that sector yet. I uh, also have not seen that sector yet. And uh, what else is there? Second contact. Second prime. And... I think you're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Right, good, great. Fly off, guys. Fly off. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bye. Discoverer, Sentinel. Three hours in, what did I miss? <laughs> Stuart, a lot. Any news about the release? Nope. Nope. What about new controls? I saw an option wheel like controller games in trailer. Yes, I have I have not shown this enough. There is Discoverer, this radial menu Sentinel. available now, which you can configure yourself completely free. And that should make uh, controller play, co controller gameplay so much easier and better. Especially like because controller Entering players system. do get now 16 choice. additional options for just two different buttons. You know, you're limited with buttons on controllers and now you have like basically 16 more options. 
at your hand, which is amazing. You can have two different of those. There's Radial Menu 1 and Radial Menu 2, which you can assign stuff to. Uh, it's completely up to you what you want to assign there. So that's absolutely great. Any news about the release? No, Trinitro. Trini, Trinitro. Tri, tri, ni, tri nitro toluol. Tri nitro toluol. Oh my god. Should know that. I'm an, uh, actually a, a, f a former chemical lab worker. <laughs> Should know that. Tri nitro toluol. Ah, I hate toluol. Weird to, weird to, to draw. Uh, anyway. Bozo telling me to subscribe? Yeah. That's how, yeah, that's... That's the stream, yeah. Uh, hey Durin, to which ship should I upgrade from the starting Elite Vanguard? Any Argon or switch races? I mean, you can stay with Argon. There is a great ship for Argon. Hey, thank you so much. What was that? Was that Apollo? What was that? I think that was a sub on kick it doesn't show me kick is weird <laughs> um <laughs> thank you very much uh what did i want to say ah yeah um there is a fantastic ship which i always use which i used for a long time um if you want to stay argon it is the eclipse vanguard this is a fantastic ship. Very agile, good power. Uh, two shields, awesome. That's another thing. Or you want to go M-Class immediately. And go for something M-Class. Take a look around. It's up to you. Alright, since this is a new game, we should see a lot of uh, Xenon ships that we need. That I want to show you. Do we have more Xenon sectors? Um, no. Well, probably if they take those sectors. Igor, good morning. Welcome aboard. Beta only started. It can take a couple months. Yep, exactly. How do you activate that wheel? Uh, you also need to... You also need to assign that yourself. You go into the settings. You go into controls. General controls. And in general controls, you scroll down. Scroll, 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 until you go to menu access. There's open radial menu and radial menu 2. I look a little bit like pirate software when I sit like that. Um, radial menu, radial menu 2. You can assign that to whatever button you want. And for example, mouse and keyboard, it works with the mouse. And... Uh, On a different input, you get different different controls on the on that stuff. Can you control the dial with your joystick hat? No, not yet. And this is something that I already uh, uh, shared with Egosoft that you can only use it with your primary uh, with your primary axis, and that's a little bit weird. I don't know why it's not working right now, but it was actually working with the stick going around. That's a little bit weird. Hey Odin, how often do you play X4? Um, on stream minimum once a week, every Friday. Do you think the outside camera view is to try and reel in those who prefer some more arcade style gameplay? Yes. Also for people that just simply like to watch their ship while they're flying. I mean, look at that. Hydra looks so cool. Why, uh... Why not utilizing that, you know? Uh, but of course, yeah, it's it's uh, aimed for a little bit more arcadey audience. Absolutely. Danger. Entering system. There is nobody. I don't understand. Entering system. Farka's Cascade. I don't understand. There's nobody. OK, 
okay, we need to do something and wait a little bit, I guess. Where's my Sita? Did I not get my Sita yet? Oh my god. Okay, I forgot to take my Sita. Well then. Entering system. Arca's Cascade. Well then. Let's fly around a little bit. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Where is that? Is that the one? No, that's not the one. Let's have a look around. I want to see the other gate and go there. Your setup is space sim pro, like sim racers have a cockpit. Uh, not entirely yet. But that, that's the next step. And there is only one single way to upgrade this entire thing here. And this is like building a cockpit. A full cockpit. That's the next step. Asteroid. Is that the... Is that the... The gate? Danger. Hazardous region Probably. detected. Exactly, exactly, uh, Tran. To each their own. You love cockpits. Some people just like that view. I like cockpits too. Sometimes I like to go out uh, into third person view. It's completely up to the people themselves. Damn. Okay, you know what? There are just three of those guys. I will just... I'll just harass them a little bit and... We are the chart. Resistance Give them a hard futile. time. Damn. Easy. Maybe they will get annoyed and start hunting me down. Oh, come on. There you go. M. Oh. <laughs> Danger. Hazardous region. Detected. Oh, could you please go away from my screen? Damn tooltip! <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Damn tooltip. M. See, this is really hard to, to aim. Damn, easy. One shot pony. Anyone else? No? Ah, uh, this is where we came from. I wanna go there. Um, where's the gate? Where's the gate? There. Wait, there's the gate? No, that's the wrong gate. Um, somewhere here. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Oh. K. Okay. N. Did they just spawn? N. K. N. Did they just spawn there? I want to see an H or something. M, N, M, N, Astro, M, N, N. I don't know what it is. I just do a weird sound. Okay, that's fine. Are there mods for speech control available? Um, I think so. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Danger. Okay. Hazardous region detected. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. Not really what I wanted.
Not really what I wanted, but okay. I can't see anything! It's too far away! It's a freaking gigantic Damn. human planet. Only pixels! Wait, oh wait, I can actually take a look around and see if I can find the... Danger. Hazardous region detected. May I have your attention? I would like to undertake an experiment replicating the conditions that brought this facility to this location. This is something we must do face to face. Oh. Show me where the damn jump gate is. Is that station? Station. Where the heck's the jump gate to Tharka's Cascade 12? Excuse me? Where's the jump gate? <clears throat> Seen have jump drives? Um, Danger. Hazardous region detected. No, usually not. Ah, I see it. There it is. There it is. The H is very rare. I've seen one. I've seen one already. There's the SE. Let's have a look. Probably there. Super highway. Yeah. I got it. Entering. Entering your mama. Um. <laughs> Still nothing. Are you kidding me? Oh, I, uh, I also don't see anything. <laughs> What's your opinion on the Rindfleisch Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz? Uh, useful. Very useful, Tauschasla. That's how easy we German can read that. We just split it into all the different words and then it's easy to read. Rindfleisch Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. So easy. <laughs> and now we can change the colors of the hut. Yes, you can change everything actually. That's true. Yeah, you can change everything. What? <laughs> Channel your inner blood with. <laughs> All right, tell. <laughs> Entering Arcas Cascade uh, 17. M. M. A mining ship is also. is also um, boardable, right? What is the endgame threat? I don't know. No idea. Aufmerksamkeitsdefizit, high hyperaktivitätsstörung. Hey, Brandon Scott, good morning. Audio check one two. Uh, yeah, no, that was my that was my wife. That was the admiral. Can you show us the new Xenon ships you can pilot? Yes, there is one. 
I would like to show you how to pilot them, but I can't. I, I tried. It's not working. Not yet. But this is one of them. This is the Xenon SE. And it is possible to fly yourself. This is the, uh, the new miner. <laughs> Aufmerksamkeitsdefizit Hyperaktivitätsstörung. See, easy, absolutely easy. Wow, okay, my uh, Admiral is just saying that, I, that we're almost as people in here as in Bob Ross's channel. Interesting. It's like she's following two different Twitch channels that's me and Bob Ross. Nice, right? Did they upgrade the graphics engine? Yes, they did. Oh, I didn't show you one very important thing that was amazing. Well, I showed you that in the in the video. That's like um, the new shadows. Wait. I didn't show you the new shadows. Hey, Fleebum. Yes. Everybody follows Bob Ross on Twitch. <laughs> they do, right? Okay, look at that. Should be able to see the new shadows right here. Hey, stop shooting me. Oh, see the shadow there? God dang it. M. All right, give me a second. <laughs> I need to discuss that with uh, the Xenon really quick. Okay, great. Now I can show you the new, <laughs> the new shadows. Where's my asteroid? Ah, oh, there. All right, look at that. New shadows. Woo! Doesn't that look cool? It does look cool. Not pixelated anymore like they were before. But actually cool looking. Not bad. Not so bad, you know. But I'm still trying to look for an uh, a Xenon H, which I can't find. This is weird. A Xenon H or a Xenon B, something completely new. Even Chuck Norris is following the <laughs> Bob Ross. Yeah, I know. Painting stream when? Well, I got a model here. One wanted, wanted to do um, um model building. I have a Spitfire Mark 9 which I need still need to build. That would be great. Did you try the new F2 camera adjustment settings? F2 Danger. camera adjustment settings. What is that? What do you mean? I want to know that. Game looks gorgeous. It does, Ponicus. It does. Absolutely. What happened with your stick? It's so bent. What? That one? <laughs> What do you mean, Migo? <laughs> Sh shadows seem a little harsh, though. Wouldn't light diffusion from the sun have softer edges? No, it would not. Because... Um, sun... The, the, oh, the sun. That star is, like, very far away. And it's, like, a very small, tiny 
uh, light source and that very small tiny light source would do extremely harsh shadows. The closer you are to a star, the softer your shadows are also. The, the further you go away from, from something, the softer your shadows get. If, if the star is like very far away, you get um, pretty harsh shadows. It's like something that you also need to think about when you're photographing, for example. So the bigger the light, the softer the shadows, you know, it's the same as in photography. Acryl or oil-based oil -based painting? Uh, I don't know. I would love to airbrush it. So I don't know, maybe oil. But I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just not good enough for that. I also don't have the uh, equipment. I only have like color and brush. Shortcut is control E. Done. What? What is this? What? What? Okay. Hazardous entering Arcus Cascade 15. Or just a look at that. Xenon Station. <laughs> M. Call <laughs> me impressed. Oh. Oh no. M. All right, interesting. Crazy stuff. Cool. Danger. Hey, Hazardous region me. detected. Stop shooting me. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Laser turrets. Damn. Right. Well, that was uh, that was scary. <clears throat> scary maneuver. <laughs> cool. That's really cool. That's so so cool. M. What's M? M M M M M to the B. M to the B. It's M M M to the B. Oh, Danger. Curtis with the store credit. Arthur, Arthur can you please uh, give Curtis Blix a store credit? That would be great. <laughs> They're reading nothing? Wild. Yeah, there's actually nothing. Jump gate. Inactive. All right. Oh, it looks so nice. Um. Well, yeah, it appears to be empty. Weird. Wreck. Oh, wreck. Oh, wreck. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Ah, you did? Okay, all right. I see. That's fine. I can take one of What are those fancy new joysticks you have? Uh, Verpil. I don't know if that actually works on YouTube. Let me try it. 
Virpil. I don't know if I put that on the YouTube bot. Does it work? Why not? I don't know why that's not working, but you can see those at my website. Which you can enter through that link that is somewhere right there right now. Oh my god, I don't know. YouTube and its commands. It's really hard. Um, just go to cap captaincollins.tv slash hardware and you find the stuff that I'm using. Danger. You can play in Hazard RTS mode using detected. that camera. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Funny. <laughs> Look at that. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? You. 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 <laughs> okay. Asteroid. Asteroid. Xenon station. Oh. Asteroid. Asteroid. I don't see my ship anymore. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there. Okay, cool. <laughs> Star control. M. Come here. Oh. Oh. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Low. Asteroid. Damn. Get us out of here. Oh, isn't that? Wreck. Isn't that the... Yeah, that is the split battleship model. I knew that it's in there. I knew that it's in the game, but it's just as a as a wreckage in the game. I knew that I saw it. Yeah, that, that's the split battleship. Unfinished. By the way. A python, yeah. That's that's a split python, exactly. Is the air better? Probably, probably I can't tell you, really. I can't tell you. Thank you very much for following. Uh Roman, welcome board. Hello, have anyone figured out how to capture Xenon ships yet? Uh, it appears that it does not work at the Danger. Point. Hazardous region detected. Appears that it's not possible right now. What? Who is um, what the heck? Stop shooting. Damaged. Asteroid. Stop shooting me, okay? The Python is different, but that's like the model of the Python that is in game. Been up over 22 hours. <laughs> Oof. Will battleships ever be playable? We have Entering battleships. System. Choice. We have battleships. We have. Uh, we have an Asgard. We have an Urkin. Urkin is battleship. Probably not a... Probably not a, uh, a, a, a Xenon battleship, but maybe modders will now finally figure out how to get into Xenon cockpits now that they are actually uh, flyable. Maybe we'll also see more Xenon ships being, being, being flyable, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll see more. Okay, where is another uh, heavy Xenon sector? Matrix number nine is a heavy Xenon sector, isn't it? M. Matrix number nine should be one. Where's Matrix number nine? There. Matrix 451. 
Hmm. Or... This one. Hey, stop that. What the heck are you doing? Stop your attack immediately, or you will suffer the consequences. Um. Oh well, you get it. Uh, what I also like, what you maybe not realize because you're not flying yourself, is um, automatic switching of targets once your target is destroyed. The targets are being switched immediately without ever doing anything. And that's amazing. That is much needed. I don't need to I don't need to manually uh, assign a new target. I will get a new target immediately. Ten. Just like that. I haven't done anything. Do -do -do. We're searching for a Xenon Age. Yeah, um. exactly. Also, I need to destroy just some stuff here. I would also like to see what's happening with one of those wreckages. Wait, where is it? Hey, where's the wreckage? T. Oh. Is it actually going to explode? Thank you. I think it's going to explode. <clears throat> Raptor is the carrier, exactly. Junk. Shame, but I wonder if it will be cloaked like in Yaki storyline. Mm, I don't know. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. What was that? How's the exploring going? Hey, game bro, great. Ganak, if you're still in here. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Uh, it also works with selected engines and turrets and shields of the same type. Ooh, interesting. Could be dangerous auto-switching. Can you disable that option? I don't know. Uh, hey, blah blah. I have a question if anyone know. On the beta, I have the 6.0, but I have a 7.0 beta. You need to follow the instructions again to opt into the new beta. Very sorry, didn't mean to do that. Just follow the instructions again on how to... Um, how to... how to... Participate in a beta, and you will find it. Blah blah. Paul Rodeo Zion, hey, welcome aboard. How... why did Hatikvas make such a bad choice for a sector? Because of the gate that we were just sitting at. That gate is connected to two Xenon sectors. And if you cannot defend this gate, this is a really bad sector. Uh, we need to get somewhere. We need to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I need to go to this equipment dock. I need to... Thanks for your help. Repair. No looking at here. There's a behemoth E. Behemoth E. Are there other sectors like um what about Matrix 451 in the Anamasura? Let me take a look at my spoiler map really quick. Where is it? There. And yeah. Autopilot engaged. Let's go. 
try to find some bigger Xenon ships. Impossible. Last time I I started that, uh, basically yesterday I started. Entering system. Silent witness. I started uh, a custom game and I went to this spot and I saw all the new Xenon ships. P E H B. Well, I didn't see an F. Autopilot. Did computer just offer the tea? Yeah, that was nice. Profit center alpha. Speaking of tea, we all need to hydrate more. Oh, I see. Hey, Salamander, good morning. Hmm. I think the AI is a little bit better, yeah. Every single t every single patch, the AI gets better. Hey, Smoke Goblin, good morning! This is not the new DLC, this is the new patch. Where are we? Where do we need to go? What do you want from me? We just follow that damn thingy here. <clears throat> hey, Kaylin. Is it possible to board with an S-ship? Uh, yes. You will only have like one marine or maybe maximum two marines or something, but it's possible. How do you get the player station now? Do you have to do the Boron quest? Uh, that's like the easiest way to do it, yeah. Or I think the only way? I think it's the only Entering way. Entering system. Bright promise. Hmm. Hey, big, big firmware. Big firmware. Interesting. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want. Entering wanted. system. Trinity Sanctum. Yeah, that's too far. Um. Did they fix the ship AI when you're managing a fleet and they. Thank you very much for following. Did they fix the ship AI when you're managing a fleet and they don't just stop for no reason while they are getting shot at and then you lose everything you built for the last five hours? I cannot answer that that specific thing, but it seems to be better. Spartacus, welcome on board. After that long of a save, the AI more the economy gets broken. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Aaron E. That's the new. Aaron E. Good. Look at that. Amazing. Post. <laughs> Post. Aaron E. Will you show them the Cock Air Class ship? Well, I don't know how. We would need to start a. Uh, Endgame Crisis, and I still don't know how to start it. So the Endgame Crisis is just a really big Xenon fleet composed of these new ships? I don't know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Big Firmware. Uh, those are Verpuls, by the way. We're not in a fight. Stop that. Inertia. HQ. Event Horizon. There you go. Uh, we're too far. We're too far. Oh, I need to get in here. Autopilot. <clears throat> Requesting immediate backup. Hey, Dakota. Done. Entering system. Ah, do you have to right select public beta to get 7.0? Yes. Public beta is 7.0. Yep. Uh, just what Arthur said. The beta is live. Please read the instruction before joining. And then you got the news. Oh, you could... Ah, uh, Arthur, you could actually do this with the... Uh, with the Egosoft forum link instead of the Steam link. Autopilot disengaged. Because the 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 uh, the form link is is more direct. Surfster, thank you so much not only for following but also for subscribing. Just three minutes later, thank you very much, very much appreciated. 
Um, are there any new Argon Freighter Miner designs? Nope. Unfortunately, nope. Taladi Station Security Vessel. Taladi Equipment Dock. Un unfortunately, no. Docking granted. Fine. I'm very confused with my button settings because uh, we have some kind of issues at the moment with um, how joysticks work with the new with the new patch. It's a little bit weird. There are there are some issues going on. But I can tell you that I'm working on default done. input maps or default input mappings for Welcome. Verpil Alphas, Alpha and Alpha Prime, Thrustmaster T1600s, VKB Gladiators, and whatever I can get my hands on. <laughs> whatever else I can get my hands on. If you have joysticks that you don't need anymore, <laughs> now nah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm doing default default key bindings for a lot of joysticks at the moment. So that's something that you can also expect in the 7.0 update in maybe beta 3 or 4 or whatever. Uh, it will take a while, but my key bindings will be also integrated into X4. Hey, Wolf! Good morning! <laughs> Just got home and Vodafone forbids me to play or stream. Oh no! Are oh, the Verpils? Extremely good. I'm working on a video which I will share with you in hopefully two days. Uh, just had to redo the voiceover because it was bad the first time, but now I have really, really good voice voiceover. And I will share that in hopefully two days with you my initial thoughts and everything. <clears throat> ah, yeah, wait, repair. Do we have money? Do I have monies? 90,000. Oh, that's fine. Hello? Ah. Monies! Confirm. Cool, cool. I have one tag two from Amiga 500 for test. <laughs> That's great. DM. Make a short video. Make a short video. What do you mean? I can show it. Yeah. Space mechanical cracker from the mist. All right. Okay, so author shared something with us. So or actually shared Not with the me. entire Discord server. Thank you. Shared with the entire Discord server. This is a spoiler. If you spoiler, if you don't want to get spoiled. You don't want to get any COG L-Class spoilers right now. Right now. I will hold up my hand as long as we're showing that. Oh wait, actually, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Anyway. Just do not watch the stream. Just listen and when we're done, I will tell you so, okay? So, watch, watch something else. Look away. I will show the new Zena, the new CAC L class ship. Okay, good. There is really no audio going on or whatsoever. I would just, I would just show that thing. Oh my god. Okay. All right, we're done. Uh, the spoiler is gone. <laughs> we can look again. 
spoilers gone. That's crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. <laughs> I'm always up to a nice spoiler. <laughs> there you go. Come back in two minutes. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. And everyone's in chat writing like, Oh god, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. And the people that didn't want it to see, they're like, Damn it. Maybe I should take a look. <laughs> maybe I should take a look. Um, where is the gateway or something? Okay, it should be there somewhere. Ah, there it is. There it is. Oh, I like that so much. Those those video enhancement goggles are helping already. So much. I will stand for a national anthem. Doc. Operation Final Furry Redux. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Taladi Equipment Dock. Hey, yummy. Always love Kingdom Man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry that I'm talking over it. It's just, it's my job to talk over good stuff. Jump Gate, Yanamus, Zura. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Entering system, Yanamus Zura. Right, probably we will be able to see some Xena ships here. <laughs> I know, Pithika. I know. Final furry. <laughs> you eat an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I knew. Oh. It's the final countdown. Hurry! <laughs> okay, so um there should be First of all there's a Phoenix E around here. Where is it? Where's that Phoenix E? Phoenix E. E. Hello, Phoenix E. Oh, two of them. Nice. Oh, three of them. Cool. Interesting. Four of them. What? Hey, buddy. Oh, no. I'm just saying there are no turrets on them. They look weird. They they look a li they look a little bit stretched. <laughs> but damn, four or five of them. Okay, so. Um, there's the Xenon PE. Great. Ah, there's the... <laughs> what? That's the object already. Wait, how the heck? Ah, look at that. The question marks are telling you which station that is. Is that because we got a plus 30 standing? Probably because we got a plus 30 standing, right? Otherwise they would not show. Interesting. There's also an object. There's an object. This is... but Wait, let me see. Oh my god. Oh. 
Stork. Sentinel. Stork. I am terribly sorry to disrupt your magnificent focus. Okay. Bozo. Good talk. <laughs> There's still a blind spot? Hmm, I don't know. It's right. Are Elturids now on the outside of the wings? Yes, they are. Stork. Sentinel. Stork. Uh, yes, they are, and they can finally shoot forward. That's a nice change. Jump gate. Inactive, I am. Super highway. Yanamos, Zura. Yeah, that's Seven. not what I wanted. Yeah, uh, oh, well, that's wrong. That's the gate. Wait, the, where's the indicator? Wait, why is the indicator missing? Hey, they removed the yellow indicator where you need to fly to. You know that uh, that small triangle? It's gone. Why is it gone? That should not be gone. Be gone. Now I don't know where to go anymore. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, it's a bug. Yeah, true. <laughs> Kat said ha Mozart Mozart What does that mean Kat said ha Or maybe do I want to know I don't know I know Ka eat set uh, Has any of the weapon choices You make for ships changed Um Well <laughs> Depends if you're using a mod, then yes. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on here? Oh, there it is! No! Yes, no! There, is it dead? It's right there! Yay! We found it! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ladies and gentlemen, a Xenon H. In the wild. Oh, cool. What is this? Interesting. A Xenon H in the wild. Not for long anymore, but it's there. Whoa, what are these turrets? Wait, what? Whoa, what is this? What is this? What are they shooting? Which turret was that? Needler turret? Shield generator? A seismic charge turret. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a little bit... Uh, okay, interesting. That's not on well. Um, well. Seismic charge turrets. That thing here. Whoa. Bam. You really don't want to be where this thing shoots at. Not good enough. I'm glad that we saw that thing. I'm also glad that we saw it shoot. that do you realize what's happening there
uh, the explosions are... Um, what's, the, what's the right word? Um, spread. Oh my god. Yeah, spread. The explosions spread. It started at the back and it moved forward and spread. That's cool. Krank zu Hause. Oh god, sick at home. Lol. <laughs> Krank zu Hause. Ah, I've never been KZH in my career, so I don't know. Oops. <laughs> He changed Bozo. They changed Bozo's voice? No, they didn't. Krank zu Hause. Uh, what hold does you have? This is the Verpil constellation of our prime. We can board it. Yeah, it appears that we can actually board this ship. This is one of the ships that we can board. Yep. This is wild. I really want to try that. Great against fighters. Oh, yeah. Du wirst mir bezahlen, was du mir angetan hast, Michael Collins. Meine Rache wird schrecklich sein. Moja zemsta bindje ogromna. Oh, I can't, like, there's too much stuff to read. Is there anywhere a, uh, an, ex, an question mark? <laughs> it's destroyer? Yes, that is a destroyer class. As you see... There. You see the symbol? It's a destroyer class. Yep. Yep, yep. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. No, oh, the Teladi are prepared. Look at that. Damn. And then there's the Ministry. Damn. I thought Teladi are not warmongers. Well, that looks different. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all the destroyers flying around here. Crazy stuff. The voices aren't final. Ah. You what? Wait, what? So is is it like Xenon drone carrier? I, I don't know if it's actually a carrier, but I saw a lot of ships flying around it. I would rather say that this is actually what it is, a destroyer. With those seismic charge guns. Entering system. Matrix number four. Matrix number four. Five, one. Uh, what else we got? P E P E K. Well, I haven't seen a B around. A Xenon B. Five, one. Thank you for following. Good morning. Can you check the encyclopedia for it? I could. Military. No, wait. Ships. Combat ships. Fire carriers and destroyers. There you go. An H. Oh, cool. There's even some. There's even some uh, description. Once the H stood as the pinnacle of terraformer technology and was used for all terraforming projects, utilizing its seismic guns to quickly alter terrain. Oh. In its new role, it functions primarily as a fast strike drone carrier. You're right. Able to punch through enemies' defenses with its powerful weaponry, quickly driving into their midst and unleashing its host of drones. Uh, drone capacity 70. Okay. Interesting. But you were right, it's a drone carrier. Cool. Uh, P E M N. Not found anything else.
How is the large fleet AI? It's okay, I think. Uh, where are you from? Germany. Southern Bavaria at the moment. Do we have a before and after image of all the new ships? Uh, yes, in Discord. We, even with stats, we have that in Discord with, with, with stats and everything. Author just did some comparison shots. Exclamation point Discord. Uh, right there. Where is it? Yeah, you're, you're on Twitch. B is the Corvette. I am. But don't combat drones use the S dogs. Well, maybe did you saw that I was I was looking at a at a part at the front of the ship. Maybe they're coming out there. Late returner for wasted space. Ah, Firebird, thank you. Found out who raided you. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, that was a really really nice raid. That was so kind. <clears throat> <laughs> Only two crew. Well, the thing is, Xenon ships do not need crew. Usually they have zero crew, but the two crew refers to, like, you can put stuff on that ship. You can have two people on that ship, but actually this entire thing doesn't need anything. I would really like to see the cockpits of those ships. I would really like to go in there and, and take a look, but damn. We were so close of... Uh, capturing a Xenon ship and it did not work and it did not work well beta 1 sorry I would have loved to show you that thank you very much hey Terex everything's great yep great update thank you for all the subscriptions thank you welcome on board everyone also we I want to share one more thing we just hit this night 22,000 subscribers on YouTube. 22,000. We're very close to two, 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 two subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> two times five. Very close. Thank you very, very much for all your support. We're not that far away. Awesome. Hey, thank you very much, Vivid Deception, for the tier one. Welcome on board. Can you give them to yourself in a creative start? No, Vecregor. No, we cannot. <laughs> um Hey Orhan. Hey Romario. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. Um we need to find we need to find those others. Oh, they're locked on me. They're locked onto me. Um, I will try to see if I can find them in Matrix number 9. There's the gate. I see it. Right there. Your in the <laughs> Love that. Woo. Hey, Troubleshooter! Good morning! I saw, I saw your comment on YouTube. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, uh, raiding party? That's really a party here. Party pooper! Oh, the Teladi are going crazy. They're actually attacking a Xenon station at the start of a game. They're wild. The Xenon H had 14 small exit hangers. Ah, there you go. Hey, Mickey, thank you so much for following. Okay, let's have a look. Matrix number nine. This is like the... Uh, this, is, this is the and Xenon sector ever. What is this? Zyre? <laughs> Wait, 
That's family to cur. Oh, oops. Sorry. Ring system, family to cur. <laughs> oops. Wrong sector. Have you found any terraformers yet? Uh, no. What hotas do you have? Why do you scream? <laughs> hey, Reiter. Um, those are Verpil Constellation Alpha Prime. I mean, I don't even have a link or anything. There, there's there. I don't have a link for you or any anything. I don't have not have a code, not have a link, no nothing. I can only tell you which ones they are. <laughs> What's your hotas? I do not use a hotas. Yep, I'm out for the day. Thank you very much. Diddy, I've seen that you wrote me back. Thank you so much for that. I will answer you immediately after the stream. Have a great one, Diddy. See us again. Very soon. Gandhi from Finstern Walde. Guten Morgen. Interesting name. The H is the terraformer? Oh. Yes, we want a link. Entering system. <laughs> Sorry, I don't Matrix. have one. Number Verpil has four, not provided me five, with anything. One. They were Verpil was only like, hey, you want to use those sticks? I was like, yep, I want to use those sticks. Then Verpil was like, okay, we sent you over those sticks. And I was like, yep, thank you, I will use those sticks. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> That's the entire conversation. You want to know more? There is no more. Ah, there's the gate. That's the one, isn't it? I have that t-shirt? No way! Did you actually get one? Autopilot epically failed t-shirt? Ah, oh, <laughs> cool. Thank you. Great. My... Uh... My... Oh god, what's her name? that ship name again i'm so bad with names i even forget the names of the ship the ship are you flying at the moment a hydra boron hydra can one shot a lot of xenon ships that's actually nice you got the mug as well oh my god brian wow <laughs> thank you so much katana thank you yeah the katana is like a little bit damaged already enter the katana is a little bit damaged. Oh, that's a Xenon K. Interesting. I still haven't found a Xenon B. Uh, well. Let's just roam around that sector and have a look. Ring system. Matrix. Number. Nine. Let's just roam around that sector. Boron, exactly, Bomada. Hey, Stormbreaker, good morning. Just want to fly around and see if I can find a. There's nothing. Is the bee the one? There's only one off. No. It's a uh, it's a smaller ship. It's more like an M class ship. Xenon B is a medium ship. Yeah, exactly. You might have passed one and not noticed. Oh, probably. Could be right there. New run? Uh, no, just a. Um, just a quick look into the beta. We will start a new run once the 7.0 is out completely. We're going to do a mercenary run. That's my next plan. My next plan is a mercenary run.
Power distribution unit SE. What the heck is that? Please. M and N's. KK. Matrix number nine a dead end? No, it's not. Not a dead end. Where's the gate? Ah, there. Okay, great. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, you cannot see this right now because it's behind me. Look at there and take a look at the radar. Oops. Oops! I, K, 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 K. P E P E P E Oh my god Okay 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 Cool 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 Damn P E P E Oh, that elephant is, uh... Oh. I don't want to look directly at Hi. Cool, cool. Let's get out of here. Boink. Entering system. Fires of defeat. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this will be not nice. I haven't found one. <laughs> Six story. Oi. Right. That enough Xena for you? Ah, uh, yeah. Well. What's a mercenary run? Only going to do missions, no economy? Exactly. Yeah. Missions. Uh, fighting. Um, helping out in wars. Getting money that way. And... Not building um. stations. We'll get a fleet. No, that's no problem. But uh, not through, or not through traditional means with building a station or something. More like, more like we're going to get money through missions and by helping other other factions with their war efforts. That's something I want to do. What's your opinion on safes coming in this game? Hey, it's a single player game. You, uh, you do what you do to enjoy the game. I don't care about safes coming. Not at all. If I want to do a hardcore Iron Man run, I will just do it. But I'm perfectly fine with this coming. Thank you. <clears throat> Did she just rodent? Xenon spotted, you think? <laughs> Piracy or strictly legal mercenary? Um, piracy only if we're pirating factions which we are fighting against. Your explorer order is working? Mine is not. Uh, yes, it's working. Hey, Burp, good morning. Don't ever play XCOM. <laughs> I did. I did already play XCOM. And more XCOM-like games. Last XCOM-like games that I enjoyed a lot was um, Xenonauts 2. Crazy good game. Can only can can highly recommend that. <laughs> 
Xenonauts 2. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Still haven't found a bee. Haven't found a bee. Look, Explorer, orders are working. Perfectly fine. Uh, let's get in here. Where the heck are you going? Let's get in here. Autopilot. Oh, you engaged. don't know your way, huh? Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm online for a little bit. Still for a little bit, so if you have questions which I can actually answer, or if I cannot answer them, doesn't matter. Um, got some time right now. Otherwise it will be difficult to give you an immediate answer. I can also tell you that if you have uh, questions or something else later on, definitely go and join the Discord server. For Twitch people it's in chat, for YouTube people it's in the description down below. There are all the links that you need to know. Discord and hardware and whatsoever it's all there there's a list of mods which we not use today but we're using in the run right now so if you're interested in the mods that i'm using in the current run also in the description yeah entering system two grand what's new with the version 7 something interesting burp please watch my five minute video about it there's like I can't get through this stuff faster than in this five minutes. How do you like the by the way the fact that the that the um, beta one video was just five minutes and was not stealing your time like crazy other videos sometimes do? I was like, this is how that looks. This is that. This is this. This is here. <laughs> Look at that and that. <laughs> And you can do this man i was like i don't know why i had this this idea in my head that i wanted to give you a the fastest overview that i could do to just simply not steal your time i value your time you know i don't want to talk around stuff uh for 15 minutes just because i can get it just because i can give you one more ad on youtube <sighs> I simultaneously love and hate that game. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Entering system, open market. Oh, and now we're lost, basically. Autopilot disengaged. There. I liked it. Hey, Rake. That's great. I I found I had to stop, rewind, watch it again a few times. Was too quick. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> actually, this is the best thing that can happen to me if you rewatch the video five times because here. YouTube will think, "Oh my God, this video is so good. People are rewatching it five times." <laughs> You can also just simply stop the video whenever you want. Run ads every two minutes. No, no, I do that on Twitch already, so that's fine. Hey, Crota, good morning. When is Timelines going to be released? That's a good question, which we can't answer. And not even Egosoft can answer that. Because they are working on the patches and the, the release of the new version and, and the DLC. As long as they have to work on it. Uh, do you know if 7.0 will break some mod compatibility? I cannot talk for mod compatibility. Oh my god, I remember Entering that. System. system. Family. Newt. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Friends, keep your hands on the sticks. Alright? Keep your hands on the sticks. You never know what happens. <laughs> Damn it. Don't read chat and fly. Okay, who's this? Who's this? What was that? 
Shadow, was that a Boron? <clears throat> I cannot talk about mod compatibility. I heard that some mods are not working and they uh, they cause shader uh, errors with 7.0 and that could be the case with uh, the release version of 7.0. So you have to try out every single mod. Load the, load the mod, load the game. If it works, great. Load the next mod, load the game. If it works, great. And so on and so on. Uh, I will probably do that and I will try to find a mod list that is compatible. But yeah, it will not happen day one. It's not a priority. Is that the right gate? Jump gate. Oh. Zyoth's Dominion. Oh. Is that the right gate? It Entering was the wrong system. gate. Zyoth's of Dominion. Oh, damn. We. There you go. Are you using the Hotas? I am using a Hotas. Hands on stick and stick. Two sticks, one of them is angled. That's the entire Entering magic system. here. Uh, that one stick moved. is angled and the other one is not. That's how I like my setup. New video about those sticks coming out in hopefully two days. If I can be fast enough. Ubisoft usually release add-ons at the end of April. Yeah, don't expect that this time. Did you mention just the AI? How much is it better compared to previous versions of the game? Ah, how much? I cannot tell you how much. It seems it's better. It seems that the combat AI has improved, but we have to test it more thoroughly. Entering oh, system. Yeah. Family. Zin. Family Zin, yeah, that's that's exactly where I wanted to be. Alright, that's that one. But there should be another gate somewhere there. That's one gate, yep. Am I wrong? Is Matrix 7-9-B connected to... Family Valka? Seems like it. Okay. All right. I was thinking on getting one, but most time I find myself on the map. <laughs> yeah, it happens. In the northwest corner. You can get the Xenon space from there in the northwest corner. That game. Hostess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Tran. Thank you very much. Wait, you are actually working for Egosoft? That's another Egosoft employee I had no idea about. What do you mean, angled stick? Um, easy. Angled. Like that. 
Not straight. <laughs> We're all Egosoft employees, everyone, even you. No, 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 I'm not an Egosoft employee. And there are also not 500 Egosoft employees around here. If Egosoft would have 500 employees... <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> you would be producing, I think, other stuff. I think I heard you say, don't expect the update DLC end of April. Exactly. What would your best guess to be on release? Uh, end of May, start of June. But I also didn't expect it the beta to start yesterday. So, Ghost, I don't know. <laughs> I was completely unaware of that beta start yesterday. Completely. It becomes an omni throttle. Yeah, basically. Entering system. Wretched skies. Raiding party Morea. Okay, interesting. Oh, Yaki. Okay. Kurao Ka- oh my goodness. I really don't want to mess with them. At least not with that many of them. Oh, part factory? Oh, part factory? Huh? Then satellite? Shelf? Uh... Oh, thank you so much. Following the apocalypse uh, song 100. <laughs> thank you for becoming a spaceman on YouTube. Thank you. Very much appreciated. So I'm confused. How do I get to Matrix 79B? I don't! Oh, that's the issue. <laughs> I don't. There is no connection to that. Ah, makes sense. Now. Well then. Makes sense now. Autopilot engaged. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Egosoft spies. <gasps> Entering system. Family Zin. Omni stick so it can also work as a throttle. Yeah, exactly. Currently a beta tester for Egosoft. I'm just doing it for free. Happily. <laughs> Thanks for showing. You're welcome. Matrix 79B is off of Tharka's Cascade. Um, that's right. Thank you. I, I'm uh, I'm consulting my I'm consulting my cheat map here, which I got open. By the way, available in our Discord server too, made by Maneuvering with Difficulty. Some of you maybe heard that name before already. Maneuvering with Difficulty is a community member for a long, long time already. Uh, has done a great job with some of his contributions. Community contributions. How the heck do I... Oh, oh that was not... Whoopsie. Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, damn autopilot. Come on, I can do that faster. Hey, our mate is. Good morning. Welcome on board. Um, FYI, you can get that matrix via. Right? I oh, am. Yeah. yeah. Sir, if the, are the Borons fully implemented with 6.0? Didn't play for a long time. No. Uh, the Boron are only implemented if you are buying the 
Kingdom End DLC. Do you have to start a new run to see new ship designs and other stuff, or can I continue my current one? You can continue your current run, Stormbreaker, though it can take some time until the new ships appear, since they have to be built, they have to... You know, yeah, basically they have to be built. All the Xenon ships have to be built, the Behemoths, the... Uh, whatever it's called in... Taladi, they need to be built. Uh, it will take some time, but they will start to appear, yeah. Does the game still have FPS issues? Not for me. How do you feel playing X with sticks? I have the same VPC setup and was thinking trying the game with with them. Was it hard to bind everything? No, it was not. Uh, I actually have a video about that on my channel, how I bind my stuff. If you're interested, oh my god, if you're interested in that, um, check it out. It's called like setting up hotas for space games or something. Pretty, fairly new, fairly new video. And uh, can help a lot. Engaged. So the E class of ships is the new ones. Yes, basically all of them. Uh, we have now Perinid E ships. We have Teladi E ships. We have Argon E ships. We have that's it. Teladi, Perinid, Argon. E class ships are the new ones. Danger. Entering system. Are Argus the new sectors cascade. going to be part of timelines? No, they are part of 7.0. The new sectors are part of 7.0 and are already visible right here. Got yeah, one there. Freedom's Reach. Oh, I would. Ah, you know what? I wanted to check them out. Meton's Refuge. What does that look like? Autopilot. Disengage. Entering system. Meton's Refuge. Meton's Refuge. Okay. Okay. Nothing special. Two planets. Fairly distant star. Uh, how does that look like? Cardinal's Domain. Entering system. Cardinal's Domain. Right, planet, star, rocks. Is that a moon? Or is that a planet? Oh, that's probably a moon. Right. And then freedom's reach. Entering system, freedom's reach. Well, that's the same star. Just some new sectors. I don't know what they're going to do with those. It will be interesting. This one here is new. I haven't seen that. So my favorite so far is definitely CEO's Delp. CEO's Delp looks so amazing. Doesn't do not have a ship there yet, but it does look amazing. Danger. Hazardous re-entering system. Farkas Cascade. Hydra. Autopilot. Engaged. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come here. M. All right, come on, another one, please. Ah. Hazardous region detected. Just stand still, please. There you go. 
Behemoth E. Behemoth E. Help me! Help! <laughs> Help! Docking not possible. Oh. Why that? Hello, buddy. Would like to take a look if they're if they got a new cockpit or something. Ooh, oh, oh my god. Oh my you are Whoa whoa. M Good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Skadoodle. Container eclipse. P E. P E. Still haven't found a danger. Hazardous region detected. Still haven't found a uh... you really didn't want to do that. Hydra. Hmm. Nope. Autopilot engaged. Nope. MR program pro gamer. Is it just the content creators that have access to the beta? No, everyone can access it. Um, check out the Steam or GOG page wherever you are playing. Uh, there should be an announcement for the beta. And there is also a link to the Egosoft forum where you will find all the steps you need to do to be part of the beta. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, he's, he's writing on YouTube. He doesn't have that, that thing on YouTube. Right. I can Entering share system. A take fast choice. Um, I share that really quick with you in chat. There you go. That's all you need to know. Mr. Programmer, Pro, Pro Gamer 99. <laughs> When a station shows you a yellow person symbol, what that what does that mean? This is a um, a person of interest, basically, and a named person on that station that has got some kind of value for you. Like for example, here, this is probably their I don't know. This is probably a, a dude that has got something to do with some kind of quest, Korean king. Woodworm scrubs, there is someone that has got something to do with a quest, probably. Then there are uh, faction representatives, of course, they are not yellow. Oh, yeah. Not yellow persons are faction representatives. Yellow persons are just for some kind of mission, author gimmick. You can talk with those, you can find them on the station, talk with those. Entering system, Argon Prime. Did you check out Anar Anarchy Port in Meton? Anarchy Port in Meton. Entering system. Second contact. I haven't found that yet. You sure there Entering is, system. There? True sight. Interesting. No, I have not. Love that Hotas. Thank you very much. Or pop pop tight. How do I find them? So Entering I system. Ooh. Holy vision. Do you have timelines content on the beta? Um, no. No. No timeline stuff on the beta. Um, it will be in here. Timelines will have its own start option, menu, thingy, whatever. Um, it's not there yet. No. Sometimes they're in a unique apartment or office. Yep. How many new star systems? Uh, I think seven. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new systems. Am I right? Yeah. Seven new systems.
Hey William, what's your favorite new ship remake? Ooh. Well, I mean, there are not Auto many. Pilot. There are just like, disengaged. There are just like five ships available at the moment, which are new. And I would probably give it to the Teladi Destroyer. That's like the uh, the most useful redesign in the game. Uh, Lomiril, welcome board. Is there any shipbuilding designing in X4? No. There's not. Um, yeah, just like Mikrish said. Turrets, shields, weapons, engines. Uh, can I start a beta safe and continue it as long as I want? Yes, absolutely. It could be that some of the things um, will be removed or added or something. Usually, I... So what I did for a long, long time was I just continued my save throughout the betas or I started it before the betas, continued throughout the entire beta and then played afterwards on the release version just continuously. I had no issues so far. Other people do have some issues with that. Could happen, does not need to. Depends. I don't know on what, but it could happen. Urbanic. <laughs> I heard that name. Uh, I heard that name once already. Um, this is what everyone gets with patch 7 add on or not. What? What's the Talat destroyer like? Do they actually have a decent offensive capital ship now? It's fast. It has got at least usable weaponry. So if we take a look, it's actually usable weaponry. That's the ship. Um, not that much stuff. I mean, only three L. No. Was it two L class turrets? Nine M class turrets? It's not much. It's pretty fast. It has got three shield generators, which is nice. So it's... Um, it's tanky. With 150,000 shield. That's pretty tanky. Seems to be pretty fast with 5,600. So, well, I guess for a fast strike force, that's kind of okay. The main guns are okay, also like the, the, the standard main guns that they had before, okay. It's not as bad as it was anymore. <laughs> it's more usable. It's not a completely different ship, but it's definitely more usable than before. Alright, let's see if we have some, some more luck with uh, this gate and some Xenon Bs. Blind spot, yeah or nay? I think. I would say. Uh, mm, I don't know. We'll have to try it. Extra unique. Hey, welcome board. What are the small numbers in the sector's bottom for? Small numbers in the sector's bottom. Oh, those are coordinates. Those, those are coordinates. Yeah. Minus two plus four those are x and y coordinates of the sector <laughs> like numbers <laughs> yeah well you don't need to start new for timelines because timelines will be uh scenario based anyways and there won't be an open universe like before so you can just you can Entering just system. simply jump into Faulty every logic. single timeline, play that timeline, you will, in some cases at least, unlock something for your open universe, and then you can come back to the open universe and keep playing there. So whenever you feel like, uh, you know what, uh, my, there's nothing really happening in my system, then you just go in here, you save your game, you go into timelines and you start a race or something. Or, I don't know something okay start 
just a scenario. You have some fun with it, you come back after an hour, and you keep on playing. That's how we do it. Ever seen the avatar in EVE Online? By the way, there's a mod. <laughs> yeah. They're like long tutorials. <laughs> How do you interact with the existential crisis? I would like to know myself. I don't know. No idea. I thought that we were in a Xenon sector. Where are the Xenons? Probably there. I would like to know myself. I have no idea. Bozo calls you. Well, there you go. The lady had rugged, bare, practical, lots of turrets in X3, no blind spots. Ooh. Can you show us big fights? Not right now. Not right now. Is there Sita in game? Yes. Need to farm it and build it, but then you have Sita in game. Yep. Denkfabrik Tonträger. <laughs> Interesting name. Yep, everything's fine. Great. Welcome on board. Oh my god, what's going on there? They're just lined up and crushing that station or what? Still no Xenon B. Up, go and go and gone. Go and gone. Gorgon, Gorgon, these nuts. <laughs> and Atlas E, interesting. They're just standing there and shooting. E. Interesting. You just randomly encounter the Paranid standing at a Xenon station and shooting that damn station. What a nice random encounter. Completely random. Alright. Interesting. Xenon defense platform. Welp. What are the guns you're using and ship? I'm using the... the Boron Hydra. And those are... Railguns. Well, how are they called? Iron Pulse Railgun. Can one shot at least a Xenon M. Does bombarding station actually work or are the L ships still going in melee combat? Well, does that answer your question? I think that answers the question. Fully overpowered. <laughs> to be honest, I guess it's the first time I see destroyers using their range advantage. And that's the first time I see more than a single destroyer attacking a... a uh, more than a single NPC destroyer attacking a station. Oh, damn it. Ah, stop shooting me! Damn it. Defense drones, huh? Ah! Uh oh, they are fast. Why are the defense drones so fast? What the heck? Defense drone. What is going on here? Hello, excuse me. Leave me alone. Ah. Defense drone. All oh, yeah. damage. What the heck? 
Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. All critical. Ejecting. Emergency eject successful. Defense drones. Defense oh, drones. No. Oh, oh, what? Ah. Well, defense drones. Interesting. Emotional damage. Interesting. Defense drones. Look at that. That's a shaky boron. <sighs> Perfect time to say thank you very much for being here. That was nice. Oh, sorry. That was nice. We, we haven't seen that. But I guess that is something for our timelines or for the the crisis or something. I don't know. Thank you, thank you very, very much. That was amazing. Oh my god. The like best stream I had for I think more than 12 months. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh thank you very much, YouTube, for being here. If you still have questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, we are going to say bye right now. Bye bye, YouTube. Thank you very, very much for being here. Right? Take care. See ya.